The world of cinema has produced many monsters. And I'm not just talking about Harvey Weinstein and Kevin Spacey. Tonight, we decide the top 10 movie monsters of all time on Deep Fat Fried! Play, bitch! Deep Fat Fried! Whoa, TJ. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, so, just want to point out, TJ has been responsible tonight for framing us, and uh, wow, TJ. he has fucking failed abysmally, as usual. Fucking dogs. Oh, that, you're going to oh, blame the Blame the, the dog? The dogs did it. Really? The dogs <laughs> knocked it. The dog ate my homework. <laughs> It's true. It's true. Holy shit. God, TJ. We, Only you pull out the dog did it excuse. I guess well, the dogs did. are the, some of the best monsters ever. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, guys, the dogs did it. Let it wasn't TJ. Let me just reach up and misadjust <laughs> this camera. <laughs> what am I doing, guys? Oh. <laughs> dogs are dicks, dude. <clears throat> they did. They may have ruined it, man. That's all I'm saying. So we have a task ahead of us tonight, gentlemen. And yes, we do. It's not easy. So I mean I I I should probably uh, You guys may think that this list we have you know we presented the show as has been decided but TJ what's the, what's the truth about that? Um hold on one second. I have to lower our bit rate a little bit. So passing the baton to TJ and TJ drops it. Oh TJ, you lovable little scamp. Sorry, there's lag. I have Sorry. to fix it. I got All right, fix TJ. The lag. So let's try this again. Fix the lag. Try, oh. Trying this again, TJ. We're Deep this fat again. lag. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Lag fat fried. Deep fat lard. Oh yeah, some lard. So I, I understand that we're going to involve this uh, this chat, and that's the worst part about this for me. <laughs> Is that the chat Ooh, is going to be able the chat. to? Where are they at? Look at them. There they the are. Oh the, the no! The chat can actually serve as a tiebreaker with this. So TJ, are you now ready to explain what we're doing here? Shouldn't this be a cinema for cynics video? No. No, it shouldn't. I'm sorry about the lag. There's nothing we can do about it. So it's just our internet. It sucks. Cool. Do. Um, anyway, first of all, before we even get into that. Uh, Want to give a um, thank you to uh, Ben over at our old show, The Drunken Peasants, which is continuing on. Did its first show of uh, its new run with its new cast tonight, and uh, he shouted us out. A lot of people were saying, well, was that like part of their agreement or something? Nope. Just a gesture of goodwill between shows. Yeah. So we would also like to extend that gesture back to Ben and his new run of Drunken Peasants yeah, if you episodes guys watched with Billy it, the Fridge and others. I hope you, you guys watched the uh, new episode and yep. if you liked it. So check out the new, up. new DP episodes. Yep. And uh, we're, of course, still here over at Deep Fat Fried, yep. lagging like fools. What you going to do? Um, so basically, um, you guys click on a video that says top 10 movie monsters. You figure that... Us three fat, lazy neckbeards. Well, I guess Scotty's a skinny, lazy neck neckbeard, or maybe slightly chubby. Whatever, you know. We've uh, we've we've sat down and we've come up with what this can list. You do? We've come up with it already, and we're gonna just talk about our top ten picks. But that's not what's gonna happen. No, we've done no research. We've come. We've not even thought about it. If you're me, at least the, you haven't even fucking. The thought only about thing. It. The only thing that happened was uh, a brief discussion where TJ was all like, "Well." Uh, well, actually, Paul, you brought up, what if we all have a different, you know, let's say for number 10, we all have a different pick. Yeah. And TJ's all like, well, then I guess ultimately I could just decide, guys. So Yeah, if there's a tie, I'll just decide. <laughs> I'll, I'll just choose. I was like, what? And we're like, no. <laughs> the fucking fan base, the fucking audience, they can fucking decide. Yeah, so if we reach an impasse. You guys will decide them. But that doesn't even, who cares about that? It doesn't even come into play at this stage. Oh, stage. it's going to come into play. I almost It might come it. into play later. It's it going to come into will. play. It probably will. But for now, it doesn't. For now, we uh, the first stage of this really is uh, just us figuring out what kind of monsters even belong in consideration for this list. This is the top 10 movie monsters. Yeah. That's the concept we're doing. I'm thinking if it's a monster, it can't <laughs> be a humanoid. Mm. No humanoid monsters. No be. human eh, monster no, bullshit. No. Is Jason See, is Jason a monster? Yes. Yes. Really? Absolutely. He yeah. is a monster. Because a monster is something other than a man. <laughs> N 
He's well, just a big, strong Jason, zombie. Jason is not a man. Is a zombie no. a monster? Yes, a zombie is a monster. It See, is. Uh, you, you're taking a way too broad interpretation no, of this No, you're shit. taking way too narrow. No, it's right. got to so, be non- All right, so I guess before you can even list monsters, we got to come up with a criteria for what the fuck is a monster. Well, that's what you just said. You said we got to decide which monsters even belong on this list, and I'm saying humanoids don't even belong. They All do. right, well, this is our first issue of contention. <laughs> I, I vote humanoids can be on All the right. list. I guess this is- de are we doing a democracy here? I mean, I guess. I think as long I, as we I can. Also avoid hum I also <coughs> vote that humanoids can be included. Ah, boo. The minority <laughs> vote trampled upon by the tyranny of the majority once again. The tyranny boo. of the majority, dude. What you gonna do? In boo fact, democracy, dude. Just to <laughs> fucking rub it in, I'm putting Jason Voorhees as the first considerate consideration. Well, I mean, on this then, list. yeah, let's just get all the humanoids out well, there. Well, you know, a another thing, too, is do they have to be like a supernatural monster? If, if, if they're just in their environment a monster, does that count? You know what I mean? <clears throat> what do you mean? Like Jaws. Like Jaws is not supernatural, but he's definitely kind of a movie monster, wouldn't you say? I mean, he's yeah, definitely a monster. Off. Yeah, but he's not. But there's nothing. I mean, a little black space. There's there's so nothing special about Jaws. He's not like anything exceptional. Like he's just a great white. Yeah, shark. Yeah, he's just a shark. So does does there have to be some supernatural element to it? Like, well, he's real. a shark that yeah, does some let's... shit that like a normal fucking well, shark. Yeah, but it could. I mean, like, a it shark is can't conceivable. Bite a fuck. I've never seen a fucking shark like rip a fucking boat apart. That's like a big. Yeah, it's not gonna eat a whole goddamn. Well, boat. probably not. I mean, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, and and Jaws was like huge too. Jaws so was a is, giant shark. Is Jaws going on this list? I think Jaws, Jaws should, should go on the list. <laughs> Jaws should be on the list. Uh, I mean, how how are we gonna pass up the king of the monsters, Godzilla? Yeah, He's gotta God, be on Godzilla. the list. We gotta brainstorm this shit. Godzilla, I I feel I agree with you, Paul. Godzilla, uh, absolutely. In, in, in that vein, he King Kong, consideration. Dude, King Kong, I think. Oh is yeah, at least Kong. It was at least debatable for a top ten. Yeah, list. Kong's definitely got to be on at least the initial list. Let me make this a little bigger. There we go. What these fucking people see TJ. It's more for us. Yeah. Godzilla. Okay. Um, right, so we got Jason well, Voorhees. Freddy, if Jason's on there, has yeah, got to be Freddy on there. Should be well, on we'll put them. We'll put them next to each other. Yeah. And then Michael Myers has got to be on there too, right? <laughs> see, that's what my this is my problem. But I, mean, I see why I see why you're going. Eh, but remember, you voted. I mean, I said no humanoid monsters. Is he actually human? He dies a bunch of times and keeps and coming back. back. I that's guess not a human thing. I guess yeah, you gotta, humans can do that. Got to give him his fair shake. Then you do. I don't think he'll make my top ten, but. Michael Myers. I mean, he's got to be in consideration. That's a that's a big movie monster. <laughs> well, dude, an, uh, the, another gimme for me is the thing, dude. The thing. The yeah. Thing. I the mean, thing's that's got to be on there. I I mean, I I would not see that not making the list. The either. xenomorph has got to be on there. Agreed. The predator has to be on there. Xenomorph, predator. I'm fine with those ones. I think that they. I mean, no 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 objection. <laughs> no objection. I mean, these are easy ones. Right. These right. are the easy ones. Do you want to turn to the chat and see if they've got any suggestions? All right. Let's see at what this the point? chat has to say. All right, chat. I know it takes a minute for them to catch up. It's your moment to shine. The fly. I'm seeing two people for the fly. I think the fly should be on that list. Absolutely. Yeah, the fly right. should definitely be on that list. That's a good one. So let's ask a question. Here, here's a here's a conundrum. Would the would the T Rex or the Velociraptors from uh, Jurassic Park be monsters? Hmm. You know, I mean, w within the context of that movie, you gotta fucking say they are. Yeah. Right, because we can't bring dinosaurs back, right? So they're not natural in that. I have term. to say they're monsters, dude. Yeah, they I'd really say that are. they're. So we should just pick one. Right, Which I mean, one of those is more representative of the brand? T Rex. The T Rex too. is more of a monster. I think so too. To I think so too. Rex. So let's 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 keep it simple. T Rex, with that. dude, all we'll the just way. Go T Rex. The Velociraptors. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, we got some we got some stuff coming here. I saw the Blob a couple times. The Blob. Yeah. The Blob clearly has to be in there. The, the Blob the, definitely de deserves its spot. Yes. Uh, let's see what else we got. Swamp. I'm seeing a bunch of Swamp Ape. Nah. No. Sorry, I love Swamp Ape, but we're <coughs> we, talking about all he's, time. See, he's our homie, but he doesn't qualify. I mean, for he, that was pretty cool when he revealed his dick, though. I gotta say it. Yeah, is yeah. definitely that was, my favorite monster. That was, that was dick. a ballsy move. You know, he 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 fucking these other monsters didn't drop and drop trow and say, "Look, this is my fucking junk." All right, this chat's going by way too fast. I'm just gonna feed you stuff from all the right, chat. Feed okay, us. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. All right, so I've seen. Here's some I've seen. I've seen pumpkin head in there. You know what? How are you feeling about pumpkin? Here, here's uh, here's what I'm thinking. We're we're doing a broad list right now, and there's got to be room for tens and nines and eights on the list. So we're yeah. gonna have to have, you know, not every but one of these is gonna be a number head. one. Pumpkin, pumpkin head is uh, awesome. I don't know. Hold up, Scotty. I don't know, TJ. Hold up. I'm not sold on. To, hold on. Well, let me just let me see if I can sell you on it with this. Oh shit, TJ going multimedia <laughs> on this bitch. 
I don't think you can make your case for pumpkin head. Stay away you? from pumpkin head. <coughs> unless you're tired of living. Oh, His enemies are mostly dead. He's cruel and unforgiven. Let's just see. Hold on. Good old. I just don't know if he deserves top 10 status, DJ, but let's see. All right. Hold on. I know this is a broad list at this point, but. Uh, Let me bring this shit up here. Okay. So this is just a clip from Pumpkinhead. Yes. <coughs> Look at him, dude. He's awesome. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. Pumpkinhead looked pretty bad. Pumpkinhead yeah. is awesome. Look at him, I mean, dude. that's a great practical. That is a good, that's a great monster. He's big. Yeah, dude, come on, man. Pumpkinhead's got to be on there. He may not be. I, I, look, He nobody, might not make the final I, yeah. list, but he deserves the respect. I don't know if top, Pumpkinhead's top five, but come on, man. Dude, we should at least consider his ass, right? I guess I'm outvoted on this one. Uh, dun, 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 I love democracy. Dun, 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 head is on yeah, the right. consideration. Uh, what, what else is the chat sucks. throwing out there? Okay, let's take a look. Let's see what you. What else the chat got here? Gremlins. Uh, uh, how about what about the um, uh, tremors, dude? The worms. The tremors, worm. The graboids. Yeah, uh, grabo. Is it graboid or what, grab what graboid? That was graboid. Thought it was graboid. Let's take a look. I think they should be on the list at least. I wrote Brabloid. Brabloid? No. Yeah, Paul's right. It's Graboid. Graboids. Graboids. Do they belong on the list? They're definitely sure. monsters. I mean, like I said, we're, we're we're painting with broad strokes here. We're gonna need bottom five material. You know, I, I don't think I don't know if they'll make the cut, but I'm 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 adding the Gremlins, dude. All right, put them on we'll there. Make a case. I'm gonna make a case for the. Oh, gremlins. okay. All right. I'll, I'll <laughs> hear it, but I'm I'm the lava bug skeptical. from. <laughs> okay, <laughs> come on. <laughs> from fucking that that one. Oh, I mean, that one has it. no cultural impact whatsoever, <laughs> except for Scotty okay, likes now to jerk off to it. Here's an interesting one I keep seeing pop up. Okay, now this is really kind of flirting, I think, with the edge of like, is this a monster? Okay, the Terminator. Um, Ooh. I'd have to say yes. Yeah, I think I think by by the other definition and uh, according to the votes. I wouldn't have like I would have dis disallowed the fucking term. I mean, it's under a, the it's humanoid a, law. It's a machine that, pass. that's been sent back in time just to kill a person, and it's just relentless. I mean, it, if it, if it, when, once its skin is removed, it's basically just a big metal, metal skeleton. Thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, that's pretty scary. It makes sense. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of Pennywise. Pennywise, yeah. I mean, it, we're talking movie monsters, though. The only Pennywise worth consideration is a TV movie Pennywise. Yeah, and honestly, it it's wasn't such a bad. But he is a really compelling monster. I He's a great Penny, character. Pennywise. Well, yeah, that's. Mm. But he he does torment. He, he is a monster. Mm. I mean, I don't know. But I think for I, I've seen him enough from the chat that I think we have to give the people All right. due deference. And sure, put him on there. Right. Pennywise, Penny, Pennywise it is. Fine. I'm fine with yeah. it. The Jeepers Creepers monster. <clears throat> I'm saying no. I'm I'm going no as well. Yeah. Uh, Jeepers Creepers one was a cool flick, but the monster himself is not what made it cool. Just too gen uh, too generic. Yep. Pinhead. Oh yeah. Yes. He's got to go on there. Yes, yes, Pinhead's yes. definitely got to be up there. Uh, the aliens already on here, dude. That's yeah, what the xenomorph. xenomorph. Yep. <clears throat> um, King Ghidorah. I think we're just. I think we're gonna let Godzilla be the guy. The He'll be the representative yeah. of the kaiju's. Yeah. <clears throat> Because he's the the king. He's the king of those, so it makes sense for him. Uh, to the be Cloverfield on. monster. We're talking greatest movie monsters. Mm. Do you remember what the Cloverfield monster looks like? No, no. I eh. see King Kong. Kong's on there already. I thought he's no. on there. Oh, you didn't put him on there. He's not on there. No, well, he should I sh be. I shouted definitely. him out. So oh, Kong I didn't should definitely be on there. Idiot. Right. King Kong. He's on there. Imbecile. Can I'm not. You know. I mean. I think Candyman is just too close to the human side of things. Yeah. I mean, he's a, he's a ghost that comes out of the mirror. But is a ghost a monster? Because they're kind of separate things, if you think about it. Well, you then, know? then we got to. What's the difference between Jason Voorhees and a ghost? Well, Jason has a physical fucking. Yeah, he's a physical form. He's more like a zombie. But then does Freddy count? Right. I guess we got to put Candyman. Yeah, Candyman has got to be a monster. By the we got to fucking put him mm. in contention. All right, now let's uh, let's see. Um, the leprechaun. I'm not the leprechaun. No. Not me. Boo. No. 
Wolfman. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I, I mean, what? Yeah, like that. That opens up all these classic movie monsters, right? They gotta. They gotta be on. We gotta here. put Dracula. If we're putting Dracula, Wolfman. Frankenstein's monster, the, the mummy, the mummy. Creature, Creature from, from yeah. Yeah. The I mean, all these guys gotta be in the, the running. Moon. Uh, the mummy. Um, is there any other classic monsters I'm forgetting about? Frankenstein. Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. I'm just gonna put Frankenstein. Fuck it. <laughs> I know that's wrong. Don't come after me, literary people. Um, Coming for you, TJ. The demon from The Exorcist. Ooh, Pazuzu. Yeah. Mm. Pazuzu. How do you, I don't know how to spell P -A -Z -U -Z -U. that. P-A-Z-U-Z-U. P-P-U. P-A-Z-U-Z-U. Pazuzu. 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 It's yeah. Pazuzu. I mean, it's supernatural. It's, it's a mo It's definitely a monster, okay. right? I see you saying the Grim Reaper in there, but how? How? Where, what film what, from representation? What film, from the Seventh Seal or something? Or from I'm, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey? I'm I mean, going no. Yeah, I'm the Grim I, I think Reaper. That's not even not really a movie enough. villain, you know? It's not. We're not even talking villains or uh, monster. Yeah, monsters. we're talking monsters. The thing is already on the list. Are you blind? It's right there. The thing. The thing. Chucky. Mm. Uh, he's got to be on the list. Uh, he's a right. movie monster. Got to consider Chucky. Chucky scared the shit out of people. Big dude. cultural impact. Pyramid Head. That that movie was too shit. I'm sorry. No. And I really, he's really a, more yeah. of a video game monster. Yeah, we might do video game we, monsters. We have to put zombies on there just broadly, right? Because they've been in tons of movies. They're a monster. Fair enough. Zombies, zombies. in general have to be on there. Zombies as a general thing. Jigsaw is human. Mm -hmm. he cannot, he's not. He doesn't qualify. Serial killer. Yeah. Serial killers are not Even monsters. though he has been resurrected eight different ways, uh, whatever. Uh, I guess maybe nah, you could be debatable I, there. I don't see him as a monster, though. I don't either. Um, the Toxic Avenger. I guess there's nothing that says the monster has to be a bad guy. No, there isn't. Um, and he should be on there. I mean, he's, you know... Toxic. Like I said, a lot of these might not make the cut, but Worth they deserve to be seen. Yeah. Yeah, they get their little moment in the sun. And I, I want to urge like us and the chat to think outside strictly like the horror movie box and think about because there's monsters in these big sci-fi movies. There's monsters in action movies. You know, yeah. We, we got to remember that we we you know monsters are not strictly confined to the horror genre necessarily. They they do have a strong presence there, of course. The evil cat. I mean, Shrek. I mean, I guess. I guess He's Shrek would be a fucking movie monster. I mean, definitely a huge film. Got to at least can give him a consideration God, there. You, you know, it just popped into my mind, but it, does, it doesn't qualify as Dolores Umbridge, dude. Yeah. But yeah, that does not qualify. Jabba the Hutt. Mm. He's a movie monster. He is. He's very iconic. Is he the best? We, we should well, probably... Let's, say, let's just figure out what's the best monster in Star Wars. Is in Chewie general? a monster? What about the Rancor, dude? The Rancor is pretty cool as a monster. That's, is that... Chewie a monster? Because Chewie's cooler than the Rancor. I mean, in a world of aliens, I think Chewie doesn't count count as a monster. No, I don't think so either. He's commonplace. So he's the just, Rancor then? Yeah, dude. You think I the mean, Rancor's a cooler monster than... Well, then Jabba's out then. Yeah, I'd say Jabba's out. Because he's just an alien. Well, I mean... He, he's not a monster. I think he's presented more like a monster, though. He's, the, he's a nah, hut, though. He's a whole species of him. Yeah, he's yeah, a, he's just right. another alien. He's I'm species. sure there's a species of Rancors, too, but... Well, yeah, but they're not sentient... Yeah. Alien, they're, they're just monsters that want to. Yeah, yeah, they just kill shit and eat it, dude. So, what are we? Where are we going with the Rancor on Let's this? Let's put him right. on there. Yeah, he deserves. He deserves his fucking moment, dude. Return of the Jedi. Come on, TJ. If someone wanted us to put the Sarlacc pit. That's actually pretty. That's I. I'd, 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 I'd have that debate with you guys because I think that's a better one than the Rancor. Honestly, let's add them both. All right, put them on there then. All this top ten material, Paul. I like well, the Sarlacc we'll pit. We'll see. We will see. What else? Frieza, that's not a movie monster. That's yeah. not an anime. There have mm. been Dragon Ball Z movies, though. TJ. Sloth. Sloth's not a monster. <laughs> just uh, a re big retarded guy. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. It's just someone who's deformed. Yeah, he's just a deformed the human. The Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I gotta give... It's the first movie I ever remember seeing. I gotta give the Killer Clowns I mean, the props. You know, whatever. I don't know if they're <laughs> Drinking the people like cotton candy and shit. Yeah, yeah okay. TJ. The Deadites. I mean, is that too close to zombies? Yeah, it's zombies. They're zombies. Yeah. yeah, they just zombies, dog. They're 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 all taken care uh, of. Someone wants uh, the Nazgul 
from Lord of the Rings. Uh, okay, so yeah. let's talk about this. I, mean, I think we, I think we, we need live to in a world thing. where this is okay and this is done. So it's like the Nazgul are not a monster, right? Now, because then you would just say, "Well, why not pick Sauron?" Yeah. Right? Mm. They're just a nor they, he, he they were made in a world where magic exists. So it's the same thing with the alien species. Well, what's thing, the coolest right? monster in the fucking Lord of the Rings movies? It's a Balrog, right? A smog. Or smog, yeah. I mean, honestly, like hit the that that one scene with smog was worth what about, it. What about the Balrog though? That's a pretty good monster. The Balrog was I mean that the scene is cooler. Let's put the Balrog up there for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Balrog. I'm gonna I'm gonna the Balgron. Balgron. <laughs> <laughs> the Balgrom. My dyslexia is acting. Up. <laughs> the uh, Balgron. The Balgron. Love him. And uh, Smaug. Is that how that's spelled? Smaug. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. Okay. What about um? Uh, fucking Gollum, dude. Is he a monster? Mm, no. I mean, no. I feel uh, like yeah, because this because the I mean, ring has kind of twisted him into Think a about monster. how he's presented in. He his is gonna, first well, appearance. I guess he was presented like a monster, so... And he was something else, and the ring twisted him into a monster. So, yeah, he's got to be a monster. Yeah, he's got to yeah. be on... All right, no more from Lord of the Rings. We're no going to limit ourselves yeah, to yeah. those three. All right, fair enough. I think I know which one of those we're going to stick with. You do? Well, I think it's going to be Smog. I think it's going to be Gollum, dude. You think it's going to be Gollum? Because yeah, tri- we're talking about movie monsters. Smog. True, true, true. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, if we're going to top ten, then Gollum has the biggest impact. Yeah. So it's it's hard, but maybe the Balrog. I Michael Moore? Yeah, we got to put Michael Moore. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking. I'm not putting Michael Moore. Liberals. The number one movie monster is Michael Moore. The monster of liberalism. <laughs> <laughs> Monster <laughs> fucking devouring some fucking food or something. Like fucking Big Mac. Gremlins is already on there. Ooh, uh, what about the uh, the pod people from uh, Invasion from of the Body Invasion Snatchers? of the Body Snatchers? Mm. Yeah, pod. That's a good people. monster, man. And it, and it, but we could we could leave it pod people. Oh, Audrey we, too definitely has to be on there. Oh yes, yes. Audrey too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, the TJ the uh, plants from the happening. The plants from the happening. Get, off. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Suck a dick. Hell. The Grinch is not getting on this list. Sorry. Yeah, he's not a monster. Hmm. Jaws. Well, well, hold on. Hold the fucking phone. All right. We just put Gollum on the list. Man. Gollum was a normal person, and then he was twisted by the ring. The fucking Grinch was a normal who, and he was twisted by his hatred and his, you know... You know what I mean? And he became this thing that shows up and snatches all their presents. He's like a monster. He dresses like Santa Claus. Come on. The Grinch, you're a mean one. Mr. Grinch. It's on there. <laughs> I mean, it's the only one. He's the only film adaptation he's been in has been the Jim Carrey one, which. Well, I mean, the, the, what? The Grinch stole who, the, that stole Christmas right, is an right, animated right. film. Leatherface is human. He doesn't <laughs> count. Yeah, Leatherface, just a serial killer. Scary uh, people do not count. Sorry. Hellboy. Is he a monster? Ooh, yes. Yes, yes. Hellboy is a good one. Good one, Scotty. Definitely a monster. Casper the Friendly Ghost? No. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. no here's no. one. Here's an interesting one. The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Um, it's a movie monster. It is. I'd say yes. I'm just, I'm already adding it. You're already adding it, TJ. I don't even fucking need to hear you guys. Piece of fucking, fucking discussion. shit, you lying sack of Marshmallow. shit. Marshmallow... The marshmallow. It's a yeah. It's when you eat a the marshmallow, marshmallow in March. It's a marshmallow. Okay, I think we're starting to kind of g- build a preliminary uh, list here. Are we? What leaving? do you guys? What do you guys think about the Borg Queen from uh, Star Trek: First Contact? Mm, I don't know if she belongs on a best of all time. She was good. She was good, but I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like she's not really a monster either. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, the Borg within the kind of like except with like within that universe that is not. Re- they're not really monsters. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. Yeah. Um, but it does kind of. Uh, are, is there anything in the realm of Star Trek? Are we missing demons? We haven't fucking. We'll get to. I mean, I'm, look, we're gonna get to some right. subcategories. Star Trek here. monsters. Are there any fucking Star? Tre- are there any? Is there anything in the Star Trek films? That could be considered a monster. Hmm. Tribbles? <laughs> it's not in the films. Though. Yeah, I can't really yeah. think of anything. Yeah, I don't think they had to Yeah, they are in the films. The they are in the films. No, no, no. I mean, I, I can't think of any They monsters. use a Tribble to save Captain Kirk in the new films, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Tall Man, no. Darkness from Legend, yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. That's a really great snag because just, that's a fantastic monster. Yeah, uh, the Tremors, the Graboids are on here. Yeah. 
Stop suggesting Swamp Ape. He's not going to get on this list. Swamp Ape. Swamp Ape. Swamp, Swamp Ape. Ape. Swamp Ape, Never Ending Story. Um, Are there good monsters in uh, the Gamork from Never Ending Story? All right, so you're definitely gonna... a definitely a monster. Is this how is that how that's spelled? Gamork, yeah, G M, yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, <coughs> what about uh, animated films like Disney movies and shit? Yeah, there's some monsters in those. Monstro the whale, dude. Mon- yeah, from uh, Pinocchio. I always liked the uh, the dragon from Sleeping Beauty. I mean, that was a good movie fucking I mean, monster. that's just uh, Maleficent's dragon form, I guess. Yeah. I have actually no idea how to spell her name, so whatever. I'm just going to embarrass myself. Um, that works. I'm trying to think of some different animes. Uh, is Do you think uh, in the movie Akira, that's a monster? Do you Would you say that? Tetsuo after he's been yeah, experimented the, on? The biological yeah. monster. I mean, especially when he just it's becomes a, a giant mass Akira! of all-consuming flesh. Yeah. And, and technology and, like, you know, part of, like, his veins, like, turning to, like, you know, like metal and shit. You know what I mean? Uh... I'm I'm wondering if like uh what about the Titans from Attack on Titan. Yeah, dude. dude. Those are good monsters. Well, the, but there, is that part of a movie though? Oh, wait. Yeah, no, yeah, Attack on right. Titan's a series. Yeah, that's Never a mind. series. So. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, here is a film. Uh, uh, you're, right. you're right. When you're right, you are right. I think we're getting down to the nitty gritty here, gents. We got a long list. Uh, is there anything? I, I feel like we're under. We're missing some demons. We no, but we demons. filled. We filled out. We filled out the demons pretty well because darkness. I mean, there's yeah. the Pazuzo demon. is on there. Darkness is on there. Let's just see what the chat has to say here. The Kraken. No. Nah. I mean that. Wait. 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 No. The, the, he is. He, dude, the Kraken is great in fucking that Ray Harryhausen flick. The fucking. The I like the, the Medusa in, in um, uh, Clash of the Titans. Clash of the Titans, yeah. 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 Clash of the Titans was Yeah, good. Medusa was cool. Yeah, Medusa was good. I, I say you gotta put Medusa in there. And the Kraken was pretty cool, the too. The Kraken right. was cool, dude. He we'll shows give that, up. We'll give that movie two. Yeah. All right. Some Hold on, let's monsters. just see. Cthulhu, Cthulhu is a cool monster, but what movie has he been in where he was done well? Yeah, that we've never had a Cthulhu. Yeah. Film. Sargon of Akkad. <laughs> uh, hmm. What about that Malbolgia from Spawn, huh? Uh, scary how bad that special effect was. Yeah. The Cenobites, we got Pin- we got Pinhead on here. He's representing them. Carne of Assad. Lil Pump, Godzilla, Medusa, The Grudge, The Hulk. The Hulk. Mm, mm. He's he's uh, yeah, I mean that's, I mean he fits the criteria of a monster. You got to say you got to you got to admit him. You got to admit he's him. He's not a bad guy. Traditionally, we never said bad monsters. We just said monsters. Uh, then we're we're. I mean, we're definitely leaving out a lot of superheroes. Then, I mean, I feel like because he, I feel like what what pushes him past just the average superhero thing is he totally loses control. He's not really out to do justice. He's just out to fucking express his his rage, and he's kind of. And what's that fucking? What's that Superman? Um it's the one he, f- he fights and it, 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 they kill each other uh doomsday 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 is kind of a the fucking doom, monster the dooms people were widely disappointed with that ver- yeah. incarnation of doomsday. Well, he does have yeah, a good I movie guess, incarnation. I guess, I guess that's true i don't know i feel the like baba duke i i've not seen it so i yeah i wouldn't be i mean able to it's judge. a good movie monster but i don't know that it belongs on the like this list too soon for the baba duke maybe time will tell we're talking about the best of all fucking time here uh, not seeing a whole lot of new stuff coming up in the chat here. I'm thinking we're scratching, we're scraping at the bottom of the barrel at this point. All right. So we've got a, we've got a pretty long list here. I'm just going to see if anyone can come up with yeah, anything gonna, else. Going to give you guys another minute to come. We're going to give them a, a few more minutes here. I think we have the skeleton of a list. So, I mean, I'm trying to think of anything else that I feel like we didn't really cover. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. And I'm kind of drawing a blank as far as I mean. I feel like this is a pretty solid. Basis. We got demons represented. We got vampires represented. We got mm. big monsters. We got humanoid monsters. Well, what Dracula are we using for this? I mean, we're just that's enough. the character. We're gonna have to figure. I think we're just you know. There's. I mean, it, we're talking about the characters representation and okay. So so so, so broad care. Well then. So as long as the character's been in good films, you guys are fine with it. Yeah, I mean, as long as you can point to at least one good cinematic adaptation of a character. Fair enough. I think that works. Fair enough. Killer Croc, no. Mm -mm. Cave Monsters from the Descent, no. The Penguin. 
we, we don't want to get too obscure. Yeah. I'm just trying to... Th- I, I feel like maybe there's something really big that we're missing that's obvious. So I just don't want to fucking move on we don't too wanna, prematurely. Yeah, we don't want to add any more, like, bottom tier shit. If there's any big ones we're missing... All right, so let's just go over what we have here. Sure. Yeah. Well, chat, shut up for a second, okay? Listen to what we got. Jason Voorhees... Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, Jaws, Godzilla, The Thing, Xenomorph, that's the alien from Aliens, Predator, The Fly, Cronenberg version, I'm sure, T-Rex from Jurassic Park, The Blob, either version of that works for me, Pumpkinhead, The Graboids from Tremors, Gremlins, Terminator, Pennywise, The Dancing Clown, Pinhead, King Kong, Candyman, Wolfman, Dracula, Creature from the Black Lagoon, The Mummy, Frankenstein, Pazuzu, The Demon That Possessed um, Reagan and The Exorcist, Chucky, Zombies in General, The Toxic Avenger, Shrek, The Rancor, The Sarlacc, The Killer Clowns from Outer Space, The Balrog, Smaug, Gollum, The Pod People, Audrey 2, The Grinch, Hellboy, The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, Darkness, Gamork, Monstro, Maleficent's Dragon Form, Tetsuo, Medusa, The Kraken, and The Hulk. Okay. So I'm going to make a suggestion on how we can whittle some of these down. Well, hold on. Let me just see. Now that we've got that list out there, now that the chat's familiarized herself with our current list, is there anything that you did not see on that list that absolutely has to be fucking considered? I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess no, but maybe we're overlooking. I'm gonna say no. I have seen a bunch of people, and I I have a feeling you guys aren't gonna like this, but I kind of see where they're coming from. A bunch of people are saying Hal Nine Thousand. Oh, from Two Thousand One: A Space Odyssey. I mean, he fits the criteria. I don't know if I. I I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't disagree. Not a traditional monster. I don't disagree that you could see him as a monster, but I don't know if he's top ten. That's the only reason I'm gonna I, least, I'm, I think I'm going to put him in consideration. All right, put how long? Fucking TJ. Just Several to, people have said that Just trying to play to the crowd. Oh, benevolent TJ. I'll just put it in uh, there for so you. I've seen another one I'm seeing a bit of. I'm seeing Nosferatu. That really ties in. That's really another adaptation of Dracula. It is. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to put that under Dracula. Uh, so I'm just going to... Because that is... Nosferatu is just an adaptation of Dracula before the, they, the studio had the rights to it. So they just changed a few things and said, okay, it's a new thing. So he's uh, he falls under Dracula. Don't fu- don't fucking fret about that. Uh, Grendel from Beowulf. I don't think that that's no. good enough. Voldemort. Don't consider a monster. Um, the Pale Man. I don't know what that is. I think I think we're good, dude. The Oogie Boogie Man. No. Mm, no. No. I think we're. I think we're scraping it now, yeah, dude. Because he wasn't a monster. He was just a resident I, of Halloween I, yeah, Town. I feel this He was list, pretty normal for his place. Yeah. All right. This list is pretty good. And I think we're good. I think we got it here. I know how we can whittle this shit down. All right. So hold on. Before, let's just see how many we have here first. We have a ton. Two, three, four. You guys talk while I count. Um, talk while TJ counts. So what I'm thinking is, is we can have some 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 showdowns with ones that'll fit in categories with one another. So slasher flicks, that makes we sense. can eliminate the one, you know, pick the best of those and keep them on the list. So you want to parse through this and say, okay, and then be- you know, any ones that are from the same movie, so like Lord of the Rings, we can go through and decide who goes on the list from that. Yeah, that'll be easy. Um, I think that that's the best way to to. All right, there's it there's down. about forty nine or fifty of these. Yeah, I mean that's way too many. We've got to we've well, got to cut. Obviously, this. that's way too many. We got to cut. Uh, so let's start at the top. About forty of these fuckers, and we'll go down. Okay. So. All right. So hold on. So how do you want to do? You want to fucking pit? The, you want to put them into subcategories? I mean, we can try that, or we can just I, I, let's just. I, I'm thinking maybe the first thing we do is just go through this list and be honest about ourselves about who's not going to yeah. make the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I, that's a smart yeah, idea. I, I think that'll cut a lot out. So all right, go to number one. So basically, how I think we're going to do it is we're all going to say to ourselves. Does this person belong in the top 10? If someone says they do and the other two disagree or however it plays out, if someone if it's unanimous, then we'll obviously keep him in. If there's disagreement, we'll have to have a discussion. Okay. okay. Jason Voorhees. He belongs. I think he belongs in a top 10 list. Does he belong in in this fi- in this second round of contention? I'm going to say no. I'm also going to say yes. Okay. Right. Well, so it has to be unanimous for it's us to, be unanimous. to fucking keep him. 
Well, why do you guys say yes? Or maybe I could put him in a separate thing. Let's just, let me just create a new file and we'll put it for like an under consideration. I like it. I like him in a top twenty. No, we need to. We need to. We need to whittle it. I, I'm fine with it. Like, if it's unanimous, we we ditch him. If it's not, we keep him. All right. I think I think Scotty, you sure. should change your vote on this because if you think he's in the top twenty. What if he? What if it turns out that he's around number ten for you? You know what I'm saying? I think he's a contender for, for the right, lower fine, end of the list. Fine. All right, so we keep Jason. Freddie, Freddy. I'm gonna say no. 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 Michael Myers. No. 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 Yep. Yeah. Jaws. Yes. I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. All right. Godzilla is definitely Godzilla. Stay. The uh, thing I, is, I, I, yes. the thing is definitely staying. Yes. Xenomorph, yep. I know, is staying. Yep. Predator. Mm. I'm gonna go with no. Yeah, uh, I'd be willing to lose Predator off the list, honestly. All right, let's get rid of Predator. The Fly, I think that we have to let that go to round two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the T Rex, he's he's cool, but not, I don't really see not him in the top, top movie. Ten. Yeah, yeah. these top ten material. Anyone does? No, no. no. I honestly that? don't. Okay. Um, the Blob. <sighs> I think that we have to consider that for round. It's a yeah. dark horse, you know. Yeah. Now, Pumpkinhead, we gave you the respect of being in the f this. I don't think you're going to make it. Yeah, I don't think so Go either. On. Pumpkinhead's got to go. The Graboids have got to go as well. The they're, they're making it. Is cool. I like them, but no. They're not, cool. Not for top 10. All right. Now, I, you guys weren't too excited to even add the Gremlins on here. No. But. And I'd be fine with them going off of that. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I mean, I, I want to make at least a little bit of a try to make a case for the All right, make, a case. make your case. I mean. First of all, this is a long time thing. This is, you know, people used to think that gremlins were responsible for malfunctions on old planes and shit. Okay. It's kind of this, this, I just love their fucking frenetic energy and how they're totally psychotic and they just multiply and they're, I mean, like, think about those scenes, like the sheer chaos of those movies. They're great. They're just everywhere. Are they top the, 10 movie monsters the, up against the scariest, all the classic yeah. monsters? Godzilla, all no. the slashers, all the xenomorphs. Are they going to make the, the top 10 cut in that? Not the, in my list. And the scariest gremlin well, if, ever, ever featured really was, I mean, I guess. Stripe. Well, no, I was going to say, I was going to say, uh, I, I, if you're talking about gremlins in general, just the fucking, the Twilight Zone gremlin on the plane. All right, gremlin. I tried I, Gremlins. I tried my best. I, I like really Gremlins, did. but no, man. I just don't. They, they just don't compete against Godzilla and the fucking thing, dude. The Terminator. We were iffy on. I mean, we kind of debated. Well, just, think about the, him. just think about the sheer fear of the monster too. Like Gremlins just don't. I mean, they're 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 mischievous more than they're terrifying. Well, we can't make it. We can't make fear a criteria because we put some good guys. on. Yeah, I understand that. But, but then look, again, if you're the, I guess for the good, the guys, Hulk still gotta, inspires fear. Yeah, even though he's true. a good guy. That's true. That's true. You know, so it's kind of central to being a monster. That's what I'm right. saying. So Unless you, you have scary. that 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 guttural reaction to that, like fuck, I wouldn't want to fucking face the Hulk. You know, if you if you don't have that reaction to a character, I just don't feel it's a monster. Monster. All right, yep, so Scotty's right. The Terminator, stay or go. I like it for round I think two. It's, I, think I it's like it for stay. round two. I'm not I don't sure. know. If, I don't know if it's gonna make that top ten. Yeah. I like it though, but I think it's gonna be a contender. It's worth considering. I think we got to cut Pennywise. He's got to go. Just uh, Hiya, if he Pauline. had a better movie representation, more then solid than maybe. Great. There's a case for him, but yeah. Uh, right. Okay, so Pinhead. I love Pinhead. For me, he... But that... I have to admit to my own biases here. I don't know that he makes a top 10 list of all time best monsters, but goddamn, I love he, he doesn't. Pinhead. I, to I, me, he doesn't. I, he's fucking great. I, I love... I do love Pinhead. I do love his performance. That's like one of the only good things of those movies. It's two to one. He's got to yeah. He's, he's got to go. All right. I'm willing to... I'm willing to concede that. King I Kong. Argue. I think out of respect, we got to leave King he's Kong. Got, he's got... He's got to... He's an OG. We're talking about cultural impact, too. He has to get his due. We, yeah. He has to give. I mean, that King has, Kong has got to. We got to give that some way, right? Oh yeah, for <laughs> he has sure. to have his. He has to have his due. I mean, that's an iconic motherfucker. And the, the last King Kong movie, uh, what was it like Skull Island? Wasn't bad, or you know, I I, I, I enjoyed it. it. it I enjoyed a it. Fun so. little action. Flick. He's, there's still good fucking Kong flicks coming out. So he now, deserves what, it. What do you motherfuckers think of Candyman? Because I say no. No, I say no. He's got to go. Wolfman. Uh, all right. I feel like all these classics we yeah. gotta leave in out of respect. Either that, or we do a runoff right now, and we just say which one well, of these let's, classic let's, movie monsters. But mate, let's keep whittling. Well, let's it. not do that because what if two of them deserve to be on? Well, yeah, what but, if three of them do? Uh, let's, not, let's, maybe. Just keep, let's just keep whittling. All right. Let's just let's just leave the classics right. alone for now. Pazuzu. I mean, I iconic like, cultural impact. Big. 
I gotta say, I gotta say, yeah, Chucky. I'm gonna say no, no, no. Chucky doesn't. I, well, uh, yeah. I like, I like Chucky. I think Chucky. If we were making Chucky's a top like a, twenty list, I'd say yes. Let's Chucky, put Chucky. Chucky's like yeah, a twelve or a thirteen, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. you're probably right. Zombies are got. Zombies stay gotta stay. Toxic Avenger. I mean, it's cool. He's I think gone. It's, you're gone. Go. You're gone. Shrek. You're that was a cute little no. You know, maybe entry, but no. Uh, the Rancor. No, sorry. All right, so let's just say Rant. Let's just put. I like the Rancor and Sarlacc. Um. I say Sarlacc is a little cooler. I think the Sarlacc pit is more. I, I mean, they're both pretty iconic monsters the, in the film. The me, Sarlacc pit, the Sarlacc the pit thing, would be a, would be a much worse death. So I'm gonna go with yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, one. they 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 go out of their way to tell you how horrible the Sarlacc yeah. is. But I mean, the and Sarlacc you don't really see it. Either. The Sarlacc you have to be thrown into it. The no, fucking it has rancor tentacles that comes grab you. Well, yeah. yeah, but I mean, you got to go near the goddamn Sarlacc. Well, yeah, but, yeah, I guess that's true. The Rancor would not inspire. The Rancor would chase your ass. Yeah. You know what? Uh, let's just let's just vote them on individually. Rancor, yes or no? Uh, do I think it's top 10 of all time? No. You? Oh, fuck no. All right, it's gone. Sarlacc, I'm assuming that that's going to go to. It's got to go. It's got to yeah. go. I like it, but Star no. Wars, you don't get any representation. Killer Clowns? No. I say yes, but it's more out of nostalgia. No. I'm sure you guys Bye-bye. Bye. Bal- okay, so Balrog. Ooh. I like the Balrog. I like the scene a lot, but... Top ten monsters. I he, just nah. he ain't it. He's not in. And smog, smog. I mean, he's just got right, the. Well, one. Hold on now. He's in a shitty movie, but he's a cool motherfucking monster. I mean, he's really fucking cool. He's a cool monster. I mean, You're we, right. I could feel his them death. Sh- his you know what? We, his death though kind of ruins him in a way. I mean, that's how he dies in the books too. It, it, it is, but I you just. Know, think- I mean, I don't know, man. When you fucking were in the that, those scenes of that dragon gave me chills. I mean, that motherfucker was pretty. Was I I don't think good. he's top ten. I don't think he's top ten. I just, I really don't. All right, so Paul, you gonna be the tiebreaker on this? Yes or no? I'm gonna say no. All right, he's gone. I really do like the character. Gollum. Right? Gollum has to stay. Yes. Okay. Gollum's thumbs, a fantastic. Th- oh yeah, thumbs up. Yeah. Pod people. No. Not really. I mean, like they're they're pretty fucking scary, but they the, look human. There's not. There's yeah. There's there's not that. Plus, there's not there's that not defining that visceral. Oh my god, a monster. Yeah, sort of yeah. feel to him. Plus, there's not that defining villain. You know, it's like when we talk about Jaws or something. It's like you're, it's like this thing is coming for you. So you know I say I mean? no. I say no. Yeah. No. 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 Audrey two staying. Yes. I'm not. I'm in, up for discussion. Sure. I like Audrey two. Uh, the Grinch is going. Yeah. Bye, Grinch is going. Bye bye. Right. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys? Bye bye. Go. Hellboy. Like you, but no. Nah. Not top ten. Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. No, it's movie monsters. So I mean, that's iconic. a pretty cool monster. It is oh, iconic, cool but I I, I gotta just, vote yes on. Stay I have Puff. to vote no on it. I gotta say yes on the Stay okay, Puff. Okay, well, Darkness. I say yes. 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 He's so cool. Gamork, I think is gonna go. Bye bye. Go. Yeah. yeah. Monstro no. can go as well. Monstro. Monstro gone. Bye. Maleficent. We already have a dragon. Yeah. Sorry. No, no. Dragon positions and filled. Tetsuo. Cool, but I don't know if he's top ten monster. What do you think? No. Nah. Probably not top ten. I mean, wait. Right, cool medusa i'm gonna say yes on medusa. yeah we gotta keep her around right yeah i'm saying yes. yeah i'll say yes to medusa kraken classic. i'm gonna say no nah yeah the medusa the kraken, is definitely cool. the kraken, medusa steal, stole the show the, the kraken yeah. yeah is definitely a, a good antagonist and a good monster but not top 10 material hulk <sighs> i think we need some different ones i'm gonna say yes to the hulk yeah i mean we're, we're it just does talk- give a little spice to our list that's true uh, Hal 9000, um... I think we gotta lose I Hal. think, uh, I think that's a cool one. I think that would be a kind of a Hal, neat little, you wouldn't see that Don't call us, we'll call you. Bye-bye, Hal. I'm sorry, Hal. You're off the list. <laughs> <laughs> How many do we narrow it down to? It's, it fits on a single page now, so that's good. All right. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay, that's so... Pretty brutal of, cut. Of this list, we, we lost 12. about half. We yep. got to lose another half. Okay. And then we have to start ordering. Okay, so uh, Ooh. let's go back and revisit the issue of these classical fucking movie monsters. Okay. 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 So I, now we, we kind of left them alone because, you know, they're all classics. I think that they get grandfathered in just for their sheer iconicness. They're at least up and for a debate. lot of them have had r- updates that add to their value on the list, in my opinion, like Dracula, uh, the yes. Wolfman, yeah. uh, so let me just monster. All right, so here's of the classic monsters, we got Wolfman. Uh-huh. I guess we, I guess King Kong is a classic monster, too. He is. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and put uh, Godzilla with these guys here. Okay. Because he's a classic movie monster. I guess, the, I guess the blob could be too. 
Yeah. The blob definitely is. Um, I mean, and the fly. There was two different. There was a classic version of that, the fly. That you are correct. Mm. Well, I mean, these are like these are like silver age and golden age monsters. We'll just that we're kind of put them about. by themselves. Yeah. Because they're kind of in this category, yeah. but not quite. Okay. All right, so here's these are the movies that we've seen in black. These are the monsters that we've seen in black and white, basically. Yeah, I mean the thing was in black and white as well. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You're right. You're absolutely the right. The thing is a classic monster. But I think that when it comes to the thing and the it. fly and the blob, we're we're thinking of the '80s we're version. Th- yeah, that is true. We that really are. True. But I, I've seen I've seen both. But, but I would say I'm thinking in of all the three 80s. cases, the versions that were done in the '50s were also pretty fucking good. That's true. Um. All right, but let's just let's think let's focus on King Kong, the Wolfman, Dracula, Creature from the Black Lagoon, the Mummy, Frankenstein and Godzilla. I I think if there's an easy cut on that list for me, it's the Creature from the Black Lagoon. I think it's a cool movie monster, but I don't think it stands toe to toe with any of those and I don't think it really has a space on a top 10 list either. That's my personal feeling. All right, uh, I'm going to say about that monster, um not really something you'd seen before. Not really something you've seen too much since. I mean, there's an Academy Award yeah. movie coming Recent out now. Recent update. That's kind of in this. I mean, definitely inspired I mean, by it, the it, creature it, life, it, of course. I mean, with, as far as cultural impact, like a lot of like uh, the enemies in video games have been modeled off this. I mean, it, it really true. has had a, a fucking disproportionate impact, even though it is kind of one of the lesser uh, I mean, Hollywood I, monsters. I, mean, I think that the, the original Creature from the Black Lagoon film is pretty fucking good. It's hard to cut it, but I, w- I would say, honestly, my first impulse would be cut the mummy. And my first impulse would be to cut the Wolfman. To cut the Wolfman. So mm. the Wolfman raises a question for me. Yes. And so does the Mummy. Honestly. Are, are we maybe? Because the Wolf is the Wolfman werewolves in general. Because there have been a lot of great werewolf. Yeah. Themed well, let's just films ask ourselves that this. add a lot of weight. If so. All right. So let's ask ourselves this: If we, we can't just, other than zombies. I mean, let, let's just even say zombies. Like, we have to decide definitively what portrayal we're talking about of these creatures. No, I don't think so. I don't think. I don't. I think we because we're talking about movie monsters. What about the, yeah. Almost the idea broadly of, across yeah. all movies. If there's zombies but in I feel, 18 different movies, that just makes them more impactful on the list. You know, in my feeling. Well, I don't think so because I feel like. If you say zombies, like there's tons of movies where zombies are done well, but there's a shitload where they're done well, they're really done poorly. fucking. Yeah, poorly. but we're not looking at the negatives here, are we? I mean, they, at, they've them. This is a top list, shit, TJ. Ver, there's been there's shit a, versions of all of these. We're talking about the ones. I mean, yeah, there's been a shit ton of shitty zombies. We're talking movies, about the best of the best zombies, but the good ones. There's a fucking shit ton of those too. So it's like you know, we're I not even feel thinking like about the shit. Zombies, it, zombies. Have, I feel like it becomes too but, broad but, when specific characters have to compete but, against but entire. But it's hard. It, realms of but genres it's really hard to, to to take zombies off the list because zombies have touched our I'm culture not saying so that. strong. I'm not saying take them off. And, I'm and, saying and pick a. Depiction. There's so many people no. that are, that are that are afraid of zombies. Yeah, I have to say that zo- the idea of zombies is powerful enough that it should. That's, it stands on its own. That's on exactly the list. what right, I was well, going to say. I'm outvoted on this. <laughs> I think it's stupid, but fuck you guys. No, we, <laughs> we, fine. So if we're going to do broad interpretations, then so the, the Wolfman wolf is, is really were- just werewolves. Werewolves. Yeah. Werewolves. So let's, let, yeah, let's let's update to that. And the Wolfman and is I, included in God, that. God, I I, so I just then can't, is, does I can't Dracula lo- just become vampires? Or are we just sticking with well, Dracula? It's of synonymous Dracula. with vampires. Right. So I think it's fair to to say that. All right. So the mummy. I'm assuming that represents uh, the Brendan Fraser versions yep. as well. Encompasses anything, any portrayal of a mummy that's been good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'm fine with cutting the mummy. Honestly, I think the mummy should go. Uh, the it's mummies, some great golden age monsters is. and shit, but I don't think it makes a top ten list. All right, mummy is gone. You're Gordon, see you later. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Mm. <sighs> I'm that, fine with losing it. That's a tough one, but I have to say, I think he's just on the edge. But, but let's lose him. Dracula gotta stay. Definitely. Yeah, I love Dracula. Uh, the top ten. Frankenstein's for me. had some pretty awesome depictions over the years. I don't. I, I don't have the heart to cut him at this stage. We're talking movie monsters. Yeah. So yeah, the old depictions of Frankenstein are really the only ones that really matter to me. The newer ones, De Niro was terrible as the monster. God, an awful film. I mean, like I really haven't seen a modern Frankenstein, and a lot of these have modern incarnations that kind of wrap. Give them, I think, a little more weight over Frank. But I'm fine with leaving him on for this. I think we got to leave him on for a minute. So uh, at least a second. Let's see. Can we be we? Can we be more brutal with this? I, I mean, I absolutely. I'm against cutting Godzilla. 
at this stage. Yeah, I mean, we're talking creature feature impact, cultural impact. Godzilla is huge. Everybody knows Godzilla. There's been songs written about it. I mean, how do you not leave him on the list, at least for consideration? You got it. You got it. All right. I don't think I don't I don't think we're going to touch this anymore just yet. Yeah, we have to argue a little bit more about those ones. Let's uh, the fly, the blob and the thing. Okay, we're talking top ten here. We need to really focus on. I that. have to say, of those three, my impulse to cut would probably go with the blob. Uh, yeah, I'm leaning toward. I love the blob as a concept, but as a monster, it's a, it's an effective monster, but it's not. It just doesn't have the pop of the other two. All right, so the fly. What you're basically looking at there is a man slowly becoming a monster and getting just progressively more grotesque yeah. throughout the length of the film. I like the themes of that it's one. It's a great better, body yeah. horror film. The blob is I mean, the, the scary thing about the blob is he can get you anywhere. There's no possible way to be safe from it. Yeah, it can it seep can, under the doors and through yeah, the, vents. And uh, the thing, obviously a terrifying monster and, and accomplished with such great special effects. I think that if I had to cut one of those, I would cut the blob as well. So okay. I'm fine with cutting the blob. The blob is gone. See All right, later. Paul, get out. <laughs> Good one, well, TJ. Good one. TJ, I'm not going to have anywhere to sit if we do that. So. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, no, he's not part of the couch today. Oh, that's true. I lost some weight since the last Damn, episode. Damn, dude. Okay. So let's just see how many we're, we're down to now. Uh, a total aside, have you guys seen that uh, the fan art of Paul in a thong? Yes. It's terrifying. <laughs> have you seen it, Paul? I have. Unfortunately, yeah. It's again. beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful depiction. Yeah. That's one way of putting it. Um, We're at 19. We got to cut nine more of these. And it's right. getting really tough. Yeah, these cuts are starting to get brutal. But They're we starting gotta, to get painful. We got to whittle them, though. We have to whittle this down. Like, and we got to make some We got to make some tough cuts here. Oh, boy. What a knee slapper, TJ. Fuck you, chat. <laughs> that shit was funny. That was and good. you goddamn know it was. It was a sick burn. Come on. I mean... Looking at this list as it stands, my first instinct, though I do love the character, is Medusa. Medusa, I would be willing to have a talk with cutting Medusa out of a top 10 all-time movie monsters list. She's great. The depiction of her in Clash of the Titans is scary. I don't know, it man. definitely I, fits. I mean, we, we already have We're a lot talking, of classic. Hold on, though. We're talking about an entire era of fucking stop-motion special effects at which she is the fucking pin. Yeah, but I don't, I don't I mean, see you guys dropping... I don't thing. see you guys dropping Frankenstein. I don't see you guys dropping Dracula. But I do. I I think there's a case for you guys dropping Medusa. So I'm, I'm gonna push for. I think we should vote on Medusa to, to be. Going yeah, on. I mean, we really got. We got to cut nine of these. We have to TJ. cut nine. And I mean, TJ. Medusa. How does Medusa stack against some of the other other people on this list? I don't think so well in terms of impact, memorability, yeah. scariness. I think that if we're gonna cut one, at this point, we should cut the one that is the closest to not fitting the definition of monster, which to me is the Terminator. Ooh, you know what? I, I I just can't agree because I think the Terminator, ha I I think that was really one of the first big scary kind of AI, just relentlessly pursuing people. And I think that really ended the cultural zeitgeist a lot more than Medusa did. So I'm have to say I, I don't like that one, and it's still present today. I mean, it's definitely more relevant to people in our age range, right? Because mm -hmm. the Terminator was a huge film when we were all kids. Look, Medusa, not so Clash much. Clash of the Titans when I oh, was Oh, yeah, kid. for sure. I did, too. And but Medusa's, fuck, Medusa's depiction was awesome. All right. I, I, it I, was. I disagree with it. I'm sad, but we got to drop It's a Medusa. tough cut. It, it is. I'm not saying I'm happy about doing it, but I'm just saying, does she stack Farewell, against... Farewell, Medusa. Because this list is crazy. This is a hard This is a hard list, TJ. Um, as far as the Terminator goes, my feel, I, I tend to kind of agree with you. Marshall I'll, Manson is in the chat, and he says Terminator is not a monster. So let's de let's defend why the Terminator is a monster here. Yeah. All right, hold on. Let's pull up the fucking dictionary goddamn definition of fucking monster here for a second. Yeah, that might be a smart thing to do at this point. Because let's fucking see what's let's a define. monster and what fucking isn't. Monster. Okay? Monster definition. All right, so a monster. Images. Damn, I don't want images. Get out of yeah, here. Yeah, why'd you do images? <laughs> it's like, you want the definition. All right, so there's a few different definitions. Okay. An animal or plant of abnormal form or structure, a mythical monster, a sea monster. That's uh, definition of A. 1A. 1B is one who deviates from the norm of acceptable be That's Obviously, that's just like, you're a monster, Hitler. You know, that kind of shit. Threatening force, an animal of strange or terrifying shape. 
uh, something monstrous, especially a person of unnatural or extreme ugliness, deformity, deformity, wickedness, or cruelty. Uh, one who was highly successful. What? Oh, that movie was a monster at the box office. I yeah. see. Got it. So one un- one unusually large for its kind. That truck is a monster. So there's actually a lot of different definitions of monsters. Well, yeah, I'd say. Uh, I think we're basically. I think we're basically going with the definition that says an animal or plant of abnormal form or structure, like a mythical monster or a sea monster or. Uh, something monstrous especially a person of unnatural or extreme ugliness deformity wickedness or cruelty so i think we're basically going with those then the terminator has to go because it's not it's not a, an animal of unusual size and it's not deformed it, it was made that way and it's not cruel it's a machine yeah, it's not wicked it's not wicked it's not evil yeah, it's just it, a machine it's a machine and it's scary and uh, i don't know i mean i think it's it, pretty it, close it, it, it is terrifying i'd probably consider it a monster on a looser thing but i think that maybe in this case it's got to go we're talking real, about tightening if we, this up yeah, if yeah. We have to be really strict and i have to say we'll, we'll, we'll remove it yeah so marshall you get your wish the terminator is eliminated all right. Um, Shouldn't you say it's terminated? Terminator needs to go. Terminator in. There's so, a, they're arguing about it in the chat now. Yeah, we need. Sorry, we, we had to do it. We somehow have got to cut seven more. We have of these. to cut. So. All right. All right. All right. So let's just all that. look at this list. Here, let me just read what we got, and at the end of it, everyone tell me the one that they would cut if they had to. Okay. All right. All right. And chat, you can start throwing out suggestions about what you think should be cut too. What do you think doesn't belong? Jason Voorhees, Jaws. Mm. The Xenomorph from Aliens, King Mm. Kong, Werewolves in General, Dracula in General, Frankenstein, Godzilla, The Fly, The Thing, Pazuzu, Zombies, Gollum, Audrey 2, The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, Darkness from Legend, and The Hulk. All right. It's getting tough, dude. The first one that came to my mind, and I got to say it's only because we've got to whittle this down to 10. I think this could be an outlier for 11, 12, 13, maybe. Stay Puft. I agree. We've got uh, Godzilla's got the big monster shit there, locked down. There, there Stay puffed is great, and I'm telling you, this is a tough cut for me. Right, I'm going to tell there, you there, there was two that popped let me up tell on you, that list for me, and that was one of them. So I'm voting with Paul. Let me tell you where the chat's head is at. The two I'm seeing most frequently, and I'm by a lot, and these are to be cut. That need to be cut. The chat is saying very strongly that they do not feel like the Hulk belongs on this list. Okay. And they're saying very strongly they don't think Jaws belongs on this list. Okay. Jaws. Well, we can look at those. Jaws I, I have to disagree with. I want to... The Hulk I can kind of see. Let's decide the issue of Stay Puft, and then we'll look at Jaws and the Hulk. Okay. Does Stay Puft belong on a top 10 movie monsters of all time list? I do not think I so. I don't I, think so. I think he might be able to pull off a 10 spot. But if you guys are saying no... no I'm saying no. No, I don't think I'm so. I'm saying there's no room. All right. He's gone, dude. All right, the Hulk. The chat wants him gone. Probably the top one they want gone. All right, well... They don't see him as a monster. They like the Hulk too much to really... All right, well, then, monster, then get rid of him. And he's not... And he doesn't really fit. He's not... Def- I mean, I guess he's deformed, but he's not cruel, evil, spiteful, hateful. He's not really all that scary once you get to know him. He's a big old teddy bear, you know? All right, the Hulk is gone. All right. So... Jaws was the other one they wanted us to look at. I gotta say, I don't agree with him. Uh, yeah, I don't agree. I like Jaws as a monster. It's and, and TJ and TJ actually made a valid point because I was like, "Well, Jaws is, is just a shark." But then you said, well, "Could Jaws do this? Could Jaws have all these?" Jaws has abilities outside the purview of what sharks yeah, does. Exactly. Not, I'm not saying he's not he a has monster. Behaviors outside the purview. Of what jo- look? I think I'm, he's he's just super iconic. You know? I'm gonna make a case for cutting Jaws, guys. Okay. Uh, and here's the and here's the and here go, it is. Go ahead. I got to be honest with you. Sure. Jaws is fucking awesome, but look at this list, and we have to whittle eight more of these motherfuckers off of well, here. Well, listen to that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we got 15. five. God, so five more of these five have got to go. Five difficult. I don't know. I, Hold on. Let's break these do, down. Do you feel Jaws is the top ten, though? I do. I, I, I do as well, man. I, I don't know. It's gonna be a hard sell for. We can't. We can't. We're, it's two we're to gonna, one on that right now. We're gonna have to move on. All from right, Josh all right, all right, hold on. Hold Josh on. Stays. Hold on. Well, let's move on from him. We can, hold we, on. we can come back to him. maybe maybe top ten. Maybe he doesn't make it. So, but we'll have to see. It pains me to say it. Really does. I'm not sure the fly belongs on this list. I love Cronenberg. I think oh. it's a great body horror film. It's one. Yeah. But honestly, it's more scary to be turned into the fly. Then you'd be scared of the fly. I mean, he's scary. And he's not cruel or wicked or evil. Yeah, he's just been 
He's just be there's he's he's almost mentally ill because of what's happening. Yeah, he's just lost right. his humanity, you know. Yeah, he's losing his his humanity and um I mean it's he's crazy and he's accomplished with great definitely, special definitely effects. Definitely deformed, so definitely and a it's monster. It's a masterfully done film. But yeah, but it really you know it, it's the the whole scene of transformation is. I mean, though it's long in the film, the actual transformation scene but, I mean, is pretty like, short. Is the monster himself super iconic in that? I mean, he's well done and he's cool. He's, no, but compared to like the darkness from Legend or the Jason fucking yeah, or, Jason or, or fucking the a really gr- a great something? monster, but stacked against the best of the best. No, he's not a heavyweight. Yeah, I mean, I'm willing to lose him for the same reasons that I'm willing to lose Jaws. I think he's a great I just, monster. I just ugh. don't think he fits on the list with the the titans that are up there right now. So we got to get rid of four more. I'm keeping track. Four more. Four more of these. I got to take the fucking. It's getting fucking difficult, dude. The, the it's dip. getting real tough to cut these. The xenomorphs I just love too much. I just can't. See yeah. Oh yeah. Down. They're they're on the list. All right. Well, hold on. You know what, guys? You know what we're gonna do? Let's go through this list and decide on the untouchables. The ones we don't think we're gonna like, cut. Let's think. Let's talk about the ones that we just do not think are gonna get cut. Okay. It's a different angle on it. Okay. Sure. So instead of let's looking look for so, what we're gonna cut, let's look for what we just absolutely has to be on. Okay. The list. So let's let's go from the top. So the first one I'm saying has to be on the list is the thing. Yes. I think he's got to be on. The uh, list. yes. I I would agree that he's untouchable at this point in this round of cutting. So I'm putting the thing there. Uh, the the xenomorph is untouchable for me. The You're xenomorph? not willing to back down on the Xenomorph. I'm not. Alien is such an iconic film. I love it. It has such replay so, value. So, Scotty, uh, we've, both picked, we've both picked one that we're not willing to cut. I'm not willing to cut <sighs> the thing. Paul's not willing Fuck. to cut the Xenomorph. What on this list here are you just absolutely not willing to cut? Well, the thing is one I really love, so my next pick would probably be Dracula. I mean, I would... I. <laughs> It's hard to cut Dracula, right? There's so many movie adaptations. So and we're talking foundational films like Nosferatu is yeah, wrapped up in this. It's just, it's too iconic. Like we said, he's kind of representing vampires. I think that's just too strong I mean, of a movie. If you, were to, if you were to sit and ask somebody on Family Feud, to, to, you know, name a top movie monster, Dracula's probably going to be the top thing on that list. All right, so listen, chat. We've all had our say. Of Jason Voorhees, Jaws, King Kong, Werewolves, Frankenstein, Godzilla, Pazuzu from The Exorcist, Zombies, Gollum, Audrey 2, and Dark and the Darkness from Legend. Who on that list do you guys absolutely want to Who are you to guys going to save? Cut? You guys need to fucking save somebody. Who right has now? to make the final yeah, let's cut? See. I got to say this while the chat is deciding. I fucking love this show, dude. This is, this is a lot of fun, man. I'm such an argumentative bastard, and there's something really... Like, it's satisfying Dude, about know, doing this. That's why I was like, man, we, Sky's like, let's do a top 10 list. I'm like, you know what's al- almost better for me than doing a top 10 list is the creation is of debating one. the top 10. Yeah. Godzilla, Godzilla, Godzilla. Oh, Godzilla shit. is the clear winner. Godzilla. I'm seeing yeah. way more Godzilla. Come on down. Else. Yeah, I, I got to agree with Chad on this one. Godzilla so iconic, so it's fucking. Deser- deserving of a top 10 spot for sure. So here are our un- here's four untouchables. Okay, so we know these are going to be. You know top what? 10. I have hold to, on. I have one, to throw, two, three. I have four, to throw it out five, there. Six, I think one that has seven, to be cut. Eight. Hold on, nine, ten. Right. So we got ten left here, and there's four here. So four of these remain. So there's up six here slots to basically cut. to get in the top ten right now. Yeah. Yes. So these are definitely in the top ten right here. I have to looking at this list. I have to. Th- I, have, I honestly have to say Pazuzu. I think should go. It's it's hard. I mean, but, but we have we I have mean, to make the cuts. Is, we're talking about a we're talking about a movie monster there that actually sent people to the fucking hospital. I, yeah, I mean, dude, the cultural impact of The Exorcist is you cannot understand I, it. I mean, but we have Absolutely to make cuts. Changed the way movies were made. And it's the, a fucking and the list I'm looking at it, it it's hard for me, on, it's hard what? for me to cut Frankenstein let's, let's do over one, Pazuzu. Let's, let's do one more round. King Kong over Pazuzu. Let's do one more round of must keeps. Sure, let's do that. All right, fine. Is there a must keep on this list for me right now? Um, hold on, hold on. I'm. We did it. In, well, let's do it in the same order. Yeah. Me, then Paul, then Scotty, okay. then the chat. All right. I'm gonna fucking say Audrey too, because I love Audrey too. Okay. I'm not cutting Ooh. Audrey too. All right. Okay. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. Yeah. One, I mean, I, I mean, everyone gets a pick. Of course. It's, it's all equal. We'll have to debate that one later, but okay, I guess fine. To move on to the next round, whatever. I'm not gonna argue with you at this point. Paul, zombies. Absolutely got to be on the list for me. Zombies for sure. Scotty. You know what? <sighs> Read the, go through the list one more time. I'm you got Jason. Okay, we got Jason. You got Jaws. Yeah, Jaws. You got King Kong. 
you got werewolves, you got Frankenstein, you got Pazuzu, you got Gollum, and you got Darkness from Legend. Oh, fuck, this is tough, dude. You know what? These cuts are getting painful. I'm going to have to say, fuck it, dude, throw Jaws in there. You're going to put Jaws in there? Wow. I, I, think, I think we're going to argue more about Jaws, so I'm throwing Jaws in there, dude. I like Jaws as the top ten. All right, chat. Of Jason, King Kong, Werewolves, Frankenstein, Pazuzu, Gollum, and Darkness, who in your mind has to stay on this list? They're going to take a minute to, to it's, catch it's up fuck, with it, it is tough. I mean, we're getting down to it right now. I mean, we're having to make some tough fucking cuts from this list. And and then it's going to get really intense if we actually reach 10. Because well, when we reach 10. Because I think there's a lot of debate. Mm, yeah, we got Like, Paul, order. even though, Paul, I know you love Little Shot before. You seem very reluctant for Audrey, too. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't think Audrey belongs in the top 10. I, I agree with Audrey's you a monster with personality, dude. Yeah, I love that. I love Audrey, All too. All right, the chat is clearly saying King Kong. Okay, right. King Kong. So Kong has got to be I, on I, there. I'm feeling him on that one. Yeah, I, okay. I can see it. So we have two lists here. Ostensibly, one should be easier to cut from the other than the other, but it doesn't really seem that way as I'm looking at it. It doesn't. <sighs> Fuck it, TJ. I think you're going to have to argue this one. Audrey, too, should go. Uh, yeah, I I I, I really think Audrey. Can, I, I'm, I, not, honestly, I'm not backing down on that yet. Well, we can have that argument in a minute. Oh, uh, you want to have that in a minute? Okay. Is there anyone that you think should be cut, Jake? You, Dar you know what? You Darkness needs to be cut from this list. He's a fantastic movie monster, but he is not a top ten movie monster given the rest of this list, dude. We got to start being honest You're with really ourselves. You're really gonna fucking kick Tim Curry off this yes. list after you already kicked him. You off already once. kicked Pennywise. Yep. I'm Fuck, sorry. I He's right, such I'm, I'm a good sorry. movie monster. Hold on. I mean, like, let's be real. Darkness is not the motherfucker should be cut off this list. Who? Gollum is the motherfucker should be cut off this list. I mean, Gollum, that's such a great portrayal, and he fits all of the fucking criteria for a monster. He does fit the criteria. So memorable, but so iconic. You know what? The, you get to spend more time with him, and you get to, he becomes kind of rehumanized. So, I mean, if we're... If we're and I you mean, know what? The only movie he's really a monster in, honestly... Is probably the fucking the Hobbit where he's oh, fuck. I'm so torn, but you know what? I think when I, when I consider both monsters and and just in the very spirit of what I feel a monster should be represented as, I mean, if, though I think Gollum does fit. I think the dark. I think darkness has to stay. I'm I'm a vote against Gollum. I mean, darkness looks like the fucking yeah, devil, dude. dude. Oh, yeah, I, I it's said great, but I'm just saying. Like, TJ, is he so Gollum be... Gollum goes. I'm saying Gollum should Go go. Gollum right, goes. I'm, I'm fine with losing Gollum. But that's you know. tough. Right, hold on. It's tough. Let's leave Gollum in for a second, because I just realized something. What? When I said darkness is basically the devil, I realized we got two versions of the devil here, because Pazuzu is basically the devil, too. Yeah, but they're very different God, portrayals. You I don't can't. get to see a physical representation of Pazuzu. Pazuzu I like is... I darkness too much to cut him over Gollum. I think Gollum goes, and I think Pazuzu should go, too, but let, we're going to save that one for a minute. I'm, I'm thinking, but you know, we got. To, I'm thinking that darkness is a cooler devil depiction. I think so, despite as well. the iconicness of Reagan's possession. But all right, it's let's leave cooler. Them, but this is the top ten coolest around. movie monsters. This is the top ten movie monsters of all time. I mean, cool is cool, man. Cool is cool. cool I, I mean, most people haven't even seen Legend. People still talk Who about gives the a Exorcist. Fuck about never. Most people. I'm just saying, like, you have to have cultural weight. Has to have. Has to have a consideration. Motherfuckers. At this point in motherfuckers the fucking, know darkness. Okay. Motherfuckers know darkness. Let's be. Real. I know motherfuckers know him, but do more motherfuckers uh. know darkness than no Pazuzu? I mean, is it most recognizable monsters? Is that what this list is? No, but it's top monsters. What, all time. what, what inspires oh, more fear, too? I, I, I think I think that that is that is a tough one. But I, I think darkness would inspire more fear if you saw that. Compared, I mean, that is really freaky. Right, hold on, to someone hold on. Do that. Maybe we can make maybe we can make a cut elsewhere here, because Paul's kind of like really hasn't been a good Frankenstein in a while. That is true. You know, Robert yeah. De Niro. I didn't hate Robert De Niro's performance, but I wouldn't put him anywhere near a top ten no. movie monster list. No, no. What no. about the fucking classic Frankenstein's, though? I mean, he, it's cool. <laughs> I mean, come on, You're right? I mean, you can't, you can't, it, like, you, during Halloween, you can't fucking swing a dead cat well, without hitting but you know a what? Frankenstein. We have you know to cut I mean? something. Well, you can make the same argument about werewolves. They're very iconic. I mean, too. look, well, every, we have to right, make hold cuts. On. At this point, everything. And left, I think Pazuzu has to go. Everything left on our list is iconic at this point. Yeah. I mean, let's be real. 
Pazuzu needs to go. Compared to Frankenstein can't go and werewolves can't go. I think Pazuzu's spot is taken up by just... I mean, Pazuzu is good, but it's just Pazuzu doesn't rise to that, that top, very top tier of monster. I don't know, man. Mm. I just don't think so. I think... We're talking movie monsters but here. But, like, you're talking about... What do you see on all Halloween? Right, right, you on. see werewolves. Listen, you see Frankenstein. You don't on, see Pazuzu. Hold on. We're, we're at an impasse here. Chat, what do you think should be cut? This, they, these cuts are too tough, man. We're having trouble. We're, so, we, we got it well, narrowed down pretty good, but we're having some trouble here. I'm feeling Pazuzu should go. So, chat, what do you motherfuckers think? You guys can see what's Vote left Pazuzu. on the Gone. Well, Pazuzu should stay, dude. Pazuzu, Pazuzu should, is way no, too fucking Here's this big. fucking list, chat. No, Pazuzu. What do you think? I like Pazuzu, but no. Pazuzu. <laughs> Or maybe Jason should go. I don't know. I like Jason, but fuck, I don't know. This this is getting really tough. We have to cut something soon, though. Gollum, Gollum, Gollum. I'm seeing a lot of Gollums. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of Pazuzu's right, too. You know what? It's, it's a tough cut, but we need to cut Gollum. Oh, I don't know. Who should cut Pazuzu? People are saying Pazuzu. No, as well. dude. Paul's, <laughs> Paul's cut no, Gollum. No, I saw that Gollum's trick, gone. dude. No, Pazuzu needs to go. Pazuzu is too fucking TJ, good. Hold on, guys. What do you vote, TJ? Do you vote Pazuzu? Oh, I'm say? sorry. I should be. I, I'm, I'm using the wrong camera. I, I, this this angle is probably. The TJ, best where do you come this. down, Pazuzu? Because a lot of people are, are calling for Pazuzu to be cut. Let's. Should we go to I'm a sorry. poll? Hold, no, hold on. Um, it's very clear what the chat thinks. Okay. Okay. It they, is clear now. It's very clear. Okay, if the chat has a clear Do you guys decision. want me to just go ahead and do the chat's decision? Well, yeah, do it. Yeah, what is it? Gollum. 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 Okay, well, if you know what, if more people want Gollum, I want the fans to participate too. So, yep, Gollum's gone. Then. We want, I mean, we're here to fucking build this with our audience. So. Yeah, so, yeah, if, if, if Gollum is what we're hearing, then Gollum's gone. Now, how many are we up to at this point, or down to? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Three cuts. Three more to we go. We need three more cuts. And then it's ordering. And then it's Fuck. all just about how it's ranked. That's going to be tough, too. Uh, Audrey, too, I think, should go. Yep, Audrey, too, needs to get off this list. Sorry, she needs to go. And then make no. your, present your fucking case. What, what happened to democracy? Two votes say yes, yeah, that, that, one that, that vote is true. This is not democracy at this point. This is just brutal. Oh, argument. okay. You're just being... So you're what, just being then You're make your thick, case. TJ. Try to persuade Me us, and TJ. fucking Scotty both want to get rid of Pazuzu, but I kept him, kept her on because of you. All right, TJ. You so. know what? Pazuzu should go. No, I'm, no. I mean, look, we we, I, I, we haven't done a poll yet. I think we should poll Audrey two versus Pazuzu. All right. Yeah, we're iffy on both. We're of these. iffy on both. Audrey two or Pazuzu. Just ask the chat. Feed me Simo. Audrey 2 or Pazuzu, who should be cut, chat? One of these motherfuckers is impasse. getting cut right yeah, now. Yeah, they're getting cut, so we need you guys to Somebody's losing. step up! Come on. Cut fucking Pazuzu. Mm, cut Pazuzu. Cut I like Audrey Pazuzu. Too. I like Audrey too, but you Look, know what? Uh, guys, don't don't put it in a sentence. Just say which one you want cut, because I can't read the sentences that are going by this quick. Just write it. Come on, chat. You know which one doesn't belong on this fucking Pazuzu. list, dude. Pazuzu. Audrey 2 has got Pazuzu. to go. <sighs> Suddenly, Audrey. Ah, damn, dude. A lot of people are saying both, though. So, fairness to that. Well, whatever. We're, so, we gotta I, cut two I more. I want Pazuzu gone. But, but you know what? Since we're, since we're kind of an impasse with that one, let's come back. Hold now. on. Just hold the fuck on. Okay. Darkness needs to come off this list, dude. He needs to come off this list. He's not top ten Paul's in the face of all to, the rest of the people Paul's on this. Paul's trying to fucking protect Pazuzu at all costs. <laughs> I'm dude. not trying to protect Pazuzu. Paul has a fucking darkness. Pazuzu boner, dude. Dude, the d the darkness does not oh, belong on this list, oh, dude. Pazuzu. Oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, Paul. Is He's a cool up. ass movie monster, but this isn't top ten cool ass movie monsters. This is top ten of all time. The You're darkness. All time. Dude, play, play a clip from the darkness, dude. Play play a fucking yeah thing. yeah. Right. You know what? Let me maybe maybe I'll sweeten on the darkness if I get to see him just again. Give, just give us an iconic fucking part from that movie because I think Tim Curry is, does an amazing job in this role. All right, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to this while we're while we're doing it. So you guys, I think go it's, ahead it's and argue great, while it's I'm a doing great this. movie monster. He's great. He's, is he, he top ten in the face of what's on this list right now? I don't think. so. I don't think Pazuzu is though. But well, I mean, I you mean, know. we can we can ask the chat. I think Let's I think have it, a rundown. I think it has to go down between. I mean, we're, we haven't really considered Jason. Do you think Jason belongs top 10? Ever, does everyone here the switch gears here? I'm not hungry. Oh, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Hold up. 
can't see it, you I idiot. Know, I know. I have. There's things I have to moron. do before I can put it up. Moron. Oh, sucking motherfucker. All right, hold on. Okay. Eat. I'm not hungry. You lie. <laughs> Just to please me. I do nothing for your pleasure. All I wish is for you to sit and talk with me. Sit? Here? Yes. Please. I prefer to stand. Sit! Or stand as you wish. It is enough that we are alone together. Just the two of us. And I want to watch him fuck that bitch so hard. Yeah, see, that's why you're fucking arguing for him so on this know. list. You've got a boner for this fucking Simple devil. Conversation. I Who doesn't? To talk about. I mean, he's great. You've stolen my dreams away. Up. All things change, lady. The dreams of youth are the regrets of maturity. Dreams are my speciality. Through dreams, I influence mankind. My dream. Through dreams, I influence, influence mankind, dude. How are you going to fucking cut that from the list? It's a great movie, Monster. How are you going to cut not, that It shit? just doesn't hold up. It, it doesn't hold, it does, doesn't hold oh, up. Oh, no, Paul. It, it doesn't, holds it, up. No, it doesn't hold up against the things up here, dude. There's just no Pazoo way. It holds up. Let's vote. Is it fucking massacres Pazuzu, is, dude. Raise your hand if you want darkness off this list. Raise your hand if you want to keep darkness on this list. Okay, fair enough. Democracy wins. Oh, so now it's a democracy again, yes. huh? Democracy. Yes, it is. <laughs> See, it's bullshit. <laughs> this is just bullshit. Then fucking put it to the goddamn chat. Then we said they're gonna be the tiebreaker. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Let's you know do what? it. You know what? Pazuzu or darkness? Which demon reigns supreme? Chat decide. All right, hold Battle on. Battle of the fucking demons. Which Battle one belongs demons. on this Which list? Which depiction of the devil is better? Yeah. Which one belongs on this Tim list? Tim Curry's or uh, Linda? Was it Linda Blair? Linda Blair. Who whose belongs, Pazuzu or Darkness? Which one? Do you need, which one needs to be cut? Yeah, we can't have two of these. There's got to there be one. There can be only one. They just they can't. Hmm. This chat looks pretty divided. It, it, it's dude, it's hard. I'm telling you. Do we need to go to an actual poll? Um. So you may have to just do a poll. Hold on. There's still a lot coming in. Oh, man. It's almost like they're coming in waves. I'll see a bunch of Pazuzu, and then I'll see a bunch of Darkness. I think we need to fucking vote, dude. I think we just need to do All like right, a five-minute poll or something. You know what? This one's got to go to a Twitter poll. Okay. Yep. Wow. Let's go to a poll. If it's if it's coming in divided, then we need an exact number. So 51% is the, decides it. You know, it might come down to that. It probably will. So you guys pick another one to talk about, because this Twitter poll is going to take uh, How do you feel about Jason on the list, Paul? <laughs> I mean, he's the last representative of the slashers on this list. So you, you, you have an impulse to kind of keep I, him. I, I kind of have an impulse to let him stay, although we got to make tough cuts here. Somebody's going to have to go. How do you feel about having two big monsters on this list, Ooh. Godzilla and King Kong? That is tough. Because you could kind of make a, you could kind of argue that we, there should, kind of be only, should only be one big. I if mean, there's only one big one, I have to go with Godzilla. If, if, if we're going to go with that kind of yeah. thought. But I don't know if, if they deserve to be cut because King Kong, I also like has had such good movies recently. I mean, they probably kind of both have. The no, re most recent King Kong wasn't a great film, but it, right. was, it was passable. Listen, everybody, we have a Twitter. It is over at um, Deep, was it Deep Fat Fried Pod, I think. Yeah. I am now setting a poll for seven minutes. Because I know it's going to take about two minutes for you guys to see this, and I figure you need about five minutes to get a good vote so in. So go vote. So it's Deep Fat Fried Pod. It's at Deep Fat Fried Pod. While you're there, if you're not following us, please do so. But we need your vote. We we can't decide yeah, on this. this is, we're deadlocked on this bullshit. We're deadlocked on this Pazuzu versus Darkness shit. So tell us which one you think deserves to be cut. Please don't vote if you haven't seen both movies. How do you feel about this big monster showdown that we posited here? King Kong, Godzilla, both on the list. Do they it's both belong to... in a top ten? 
Is there one that reigns supreme there that would be a better representation if on the I list? I have to vote between King Kong and Godzilla for which one to keep. I'm saying Godzilla's. Me case. too. I would have to say Godzilla, but I don't necessarily know that. I don't necessarily know that means King Kong should be cut. Right. Yet. Exactly. Definitely between those two. Because Godzilla. if I got to choose. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. But I, it, at the same time, it almost feels like they'd be robbing one of them by taking the spot. Hmm. <sighs> Like the thing, I, I just can't see cutting from a top ten list. I just really can't. As far as movie monsters, I just don't. I mean, see I've it. got a couple on here that are xenomorphs. Not cut. Xenomorphs. I, I I think you would have to make the most compelling case possible. Yeah, I mean, they got to be on the list. Zombies I mean, got to be. On I mean, the I'm list. not gonna lie. There's total bias with that one, but um, God, uh, I haven't heard anyone really defending Frankenstein. I mean, you you've done a little bit, Paul. I don't know. It's just getting down to the those it, classic it, movie depictions are good. It's hard. It's hard to fucking... All right, so hold on. Let's cut. think about the essence of these monsters for a second. Okay. Because, okay. you know, uh, w what do we got here? So Jason's kind of the unstoppable slasher kind of monster, yeah. okay? Werewolves, that's like man transformed into beast. Yeah, it's like, that's like mythology kind of mixing with, you know, cinema. Frankenstein, he, I mean, like, I can almost, you could almost put Frankenstein and Jason and zombies into the same category, because they're both kind of undead, Yeah, Frankenstein's more things. like more science like, gone wild, yeah, he, though. He, he, yeah, it's more like a cautionary science tale, like, look what science can Still, do. they're all, I mean, zombies are off in that as well. That's true. Uh, I'll and give you I, that. Look, I'm, I'm just putting them all together because they're all undead Sure. They're all previously dead humans that have come back to life. Right. Darkness and Pazuzu are both devils. Jaws is kind of just an, another like a, a force of nature. And Dracula's previously a human that came back to life. That's true. He also belongs in that category. The Thing and the Xenomorph are kind of alien threats. Yep. Uh, Godzilla and King Kong, obviously. I mean, I guess Godzilla and King Kong and Jaws could go together. I mean, yeah, Jaws, giant beasts. Jaws is not as big as them, but he's still a giant beast who can do things that a normal shark would never be able to do. Yeah. Um, oh, look at this poll, TJ. Oh, damn. It's close. Is it uh, concluded? Uh, no, there's still time left, but it's getting close. So if you guys want to vote, yep, get we're your very, votes very in. close right now. So, you, so we're going to have our definitive... You might fucking tilt it one way. We're going to have our definitive cinematic devil in a minute here. Hey, we got three minutes left on that poll. Yep. Darkness or Pazuzu, which one do you prefer uh, to be cut, rather? I mean, uh, looking at Frankenstein outside of his cultural impact... And looking at his cool fact, I mean, we, maybe we, that's what we got to do at this point. Yeah, I mean, maybe, we, maybe at this point we got to just say impact, cultural impact. impact has to kind of go away a little yeah. bit. Yeah, because it's the criteria that's kind of holding. And us is back he really a monster? I mean, the Frankenstein's monster is just kind of a creation. I mean, he's not malevolent or evil well, or he spiteful. Does, yeah, he is kind of spiteful towards the end. You know, I guess towards, yeah, towards yeah, his yeah, creator right. anyway. Yeah. He well, is. I mean, but that's not who would call that evil? Killing the man that made you the monster that you are—that's not evil or spiteful. I mean, a lot of the I mean, Jaws just wants to eat the thing is just following its natural life cycle so are the xenomorphs i mean there's a lot of things that you could argue yeah arguments evil you could, yeah they're just evil in because of the threat they pose to to human beings. i think when we look at when we look at monsters god I, I'm, I'm starting to start i'm starting to come around to maybe jaws or frankenstein should be cut it, that, that that's kind of starting to fly around my mind i mean i feel like i feel like you guys are not going to drop jason I don't see that happening. Like you said, that's kind of your last, uh, you know, kind of that's the last fucking refuge of the slasher monster. I don't think you guys are going to drop that. Yeah, we have a lot of classics, and I feel like I feel like honestly, oh, fuck, I think we should probably either cut Jaws or Frankenstein after we we get our devil. All right, well, we're about to decide on what our devil is here. So All right, in a moment we'll. Yeah, I'd be fine with looking at both Jaws and Frankenstein for cuts. Especially after reorganizing them like this, looking at Jaws up against the other monsters there, that's just kind of... Oh, werewolves don't belong in this. Yeah, werewolves are their own thing. Um, yeah. I mean, maybe we could suss that one out after we find out the end of this yeah, poll. Yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and let this... I mean, we're just kind of biding for time while this, this poll concludes. Sure. One minute left on the poll, 318 votes. Very close. Wow. <clears throat> but it's looking to me like 
It's look well. Ooh. Let's just let's just not let's not announce right, until yeah, it happens here. It's looking a certain way, but let's see. Just barely. Let's see. We got 339 votes in now. Man, it's down to the wire. It's a horse race. It really is. It's within four percentage points. It's almost over. I'm pretty sure I know the outcome at this point. Poll ending. Okay, the poll is ending, but not quite over. I think it's safe to call it. Uh, yeah, it looks like 48 to 52. Darkness is going to be cut. It's yes! fucking close, dude. It's it's the wrong. The, the chat is wrong. The dude. chat is wrong. They're they're wrong. They, these people know what they're talking about. You guys know your stuff. That was a tough cut. But tough. it needed it to be done. It, it was it was close though. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more needs to go. Only one more of these things needs to go. I think we know where we're at. I think Jaws or Frankenstein probably are, is gonna one of the ones to be eliminated. Yep. Hold on now. Let me let me just read through this here. Okay. Let's... And we'll decide what needs to be cut. How about the three of us, we each fucking each throw up a uh, one to be cut. Yeah, yep. and we'll okay. also let the chat do that as well. Let me pull them back up. I didn't have them up just now. Okay. So hold on, guys. This is what we got. There's 11 left. There's Jason. Guys, slow the fuck down, <laughs> please. Jason Voorhees, Frankenstein, Zombies, Dracula, Pazuzu, King Kong, Godzilla, Jaws, Werewolves, The Thing, and the Xenomorphs. Man, it's a tight list. So, chat, I'm going to let you guys go first this time. Who, who do you guys think should fucking be on the chat? Because I think block? that maybe it'll affect our decision what you guys think. Oh, yeah. Let's hear what the... what I, I know which one I'm leaning towards. I have kind of a selection that I think out of these needs doesn't really belong, doesn't have a place in the top ten. I think I know Paul's. Yep. It's pretty clear who the chat wants cut. Who's that? Jaws. I okay. agree with the chat. So let's... Uh, I, I think I'm going to go with the chat on this as well. I think we can safely cut Jaws. So you just want to end all contention and say this is the top 10 list? I think the chat pretty definitively says they don't want Jaws on here. All right, well... Jaws, you, know you made it to number 11. We here. love you, Jaws, but the chat has spoken. I might have. It might have been different for me if the chat hadn't decided that, but, you know, we got to make a cut yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I, I knew Paul was leading towards Jaws. Yep. I was leading towards Jaws or Frankenstein, and the chat is kind of... They've, they've broken the time. All right. So Jaws is gone. So we have our top 10. Yes. Now we have to order this. Now bitch. all I have to do is decide the oh. order these belong in. Oh, man. This is the worst. This is going to be tough. So number 10. We got Jason Voorhees. We have mm -hmm. Frankenstein and his multiple incarnations. Mm -hmm. Zombies in general. I still think that's too vague, but whatever. We're already in the top 10. Dracula. Pazuzu. King Kong, Godzilla, Werewolves, also kind of broad for me, but whatever. The Thing and Xenomorphs. Easy for me to have a number 10. If you want me to throw it out there. So yeah, we, yeah, what's your number Pazuzu. 10? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you knew that was coming. Number Throwing 10. Out Pazuzu. I think that, look, with the contention that existed over Pazuzu, I think it makes sense for Pazuzu to be number 10. Yeah, I mean, as, as much as it pains me, I think that Pazuzu can, can be a, at least an early contender yeah. for 10. If not, I'm gonna go ahead 10. and I'm gonna go ahead and label it for now. All right, so ten. So, not, so nine is where it gets difficult. So who's the, who's the next? Lamest I don't, I don't, on the, the, I don't list. have the spite card to play anymore. Let's be honest. Hold who's on. who's the let's, next lamest on the list? Let's make, let's maybe make a sandwich here because maybe we can agree on number one early. Uh, I don't no, think that's gonna I, happen. I, I, I want I want to go down the list. I don't think that's gonna happen, dude. It's kind of hard to build this list in reverse. Honestly, it's much easier to go from one to ten than it is from ten to one. No, I, I think we should go down and just do number one. Because either way, I think it's just like it's just how you skin the cat. You know what I mean? I don't think you, I don't agree with that. But maybe it's just my mind doesn't work the same way. But whatever. Uh, I don't know. You how are to dyslexic, build, TJ. I don't know how to build this list in reverse because I don't know who the next lamest is on here. I mean, out of all these these people here, I'd go King Kong. Yeah, I I I I I'd, I'd tend to agree. In terms of like it just facing off against the rest of this list with Pazuzu in the 10 slot. I want to throw in, ugh, fuck, it's tough, but I want to throw in Jason as number nine. I think Jason's a little higher up the ladder than nine for me. I got to go King Kong. What do you guys think, Jason or King Kong for number nine? I mean, I'm going King Kong. I have to go Jason. 
I like Jason, but I think I like King Kong better, as a better as a monster. What do you guys think, tiebreakers? Who who belongs at number not at number nine, uh, King Kong or Jason? It's definitely. I mean, it's it, it's probably one of the two. Because I don't feel Jason is slided as much in the eight slot, and we could. Guys, quit throwing out. We, we've look, you you guys. I know you each have your own selections for number nine, but you got to choose between the two that we're, we we fun come to. Yeah, you guys can you know later on. We're actually you can actually tweet at us what your list would All be. All right, it's pretty clear what the chat thinks. They think King Kong is number nine. Okay, okay, two. okay. Kong, well, it is. Well, which so they'd be the tiebreaker. So number nine is King Kong. I mean, there really wasn't a tie. I mean, I mean, really, now there's a tie if you just count the chat as one person. But whatever. King Kong, number nine. So, Jason, I'm assuming that you you recommend Jason for number eight, then. I mean, I think we should think about Jason or Frankenstein for number eight. Well, hold on. Because, uh, all right, so Scotty obviously says Jason should be number eight. eight. Yeah, Jason should Paul, be Paul, what do you think should be number eight? I don't think Jason is slighted as number eight. Um, but what do you... F forget about what Scotty Frank, says. I, 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 well, I think Jason should be number eight. I agree. I agree. You know what? Up against Frankenstein... So let me think. Jason versus Frankenstein. Frankenstein's. I gotta go. I gotta put Frankenstein over Jason. I gotta put zombies over Jason because there's just too many good. Yeah, zombie there's movies. too many good zombie movies. I gotta definitely put Dracula. Jason has. Dracula, also, werewolves. Jason only has so you many. Know, good I might movies. be willing to put werewolves under fucking Jason. Mm, number eight. Mm, no, I don't think so. There's not been that many mm. great werewolf movies. There've been a few. The first Howling, I just think American first. Werewolf in fucking I think that, London. I just think that the werewolf just throughout. Just throughout so much of human history has been so iconic. Just Fuck human history. We're just talking about movies. Ginger I, snaps, I understand that, but that's why. But that's bullet, why it's in, But that's why it's in so many movies. All right, all right, all right. We'll we'll go ahead. I'll I'll concede Jason number eight. So who you? What do you think for number? Seven. I think we gotta I, we got we gotta fucking we gotta solve the Frank Frankenstein was contentious even being on the list at some point. I think that the fact that he's climbing up to seven on the list is is a high more, point. You don't think more should, than sufficient for Frankenstein? You don't Frankenstein. think he should be any higher than no. that? No, I don't think so I at all. I am actually in total agreement on this one. I think it's where he drops on the list. Frankenstein is boring. Shut up. Go watch the classics, you stupid faggot. Um, <laughs> sorry. Try to be nice. Um, I I think that maybe werewolves could go next. I would agree. Yeah, I think they're the for me they're the lamest thing left on this list. Yep, on this other part of the list. Totally agree. Werewolves. Um, I'd put I want to put zombies next just because I think yeah. it's super vague. Mm, I mean the vagueness doesn't change. It does anything. I mean, yes, it does. There are so many classic fucking amazing. I don't films. give a shit. I don't zombies give a shit. Zombies are in, in the, the national. We're talking about. We're talking about Huge specific shows, fucking characters here. Everybody, yeah, everybody, we're not talking. See, everything you've been else trying to narrow list. it down to specific characters uh, this whole fucking time, and we're not doing it. Werewolves wasn't look, a specific character. Looking at this list. Oh, this is I tough. wanted werewolves higher up there. I think specific monsters should be given deference over just a class of monsters. You know what? I, fuck. It's hard as it is to say. I, I'm going to have to go with TJ on this one. I'm going to go zombies. It's tough, but... But it's the, the other ones I'm looking at. You're talking all time best movie monsters, and you're gonna put zombies at what six? Five, five. All right, I guess I don't feel so bad about them being at five. Right, hold on, I, I wouldn't hold agree on. with them. Let's just at go six. through this. What do you? I mean, look, if you if you think zombies shouldn't be at number five, what on that list? Dracula, Godzilla, the Thing, and Xenomorphs. What are you willing to put zombies over? Uh, I'm willing to put go uh, zombies over Godzilla. No. Yep. No, Sorry. I just Not don't know. Sorry. Zombies are number five. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with number five being zombies. No fucking way. Godzilla, I just can't see. Godzilla is the iconic big monster. It is. I mean, I mean, it, <laughs> you just said we're not looking at iconic anymore because zombies are just as iconic as Godzilla is. But Godzilla almost kind of, I mean, Godzilla is like the fucking prototype of a monster. He's literally called the king of the monsters. Yeah, I don't think you can put Godzilla. All right, hold on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Chat, who who should be next? W what do you think? There's so much weight on the zombies, dude. There's so much, so many zombies. All right, films. all right, chat. Let me just ask you this: Who do you like better for the for who do you like better? Just Godzilla or zombies? Like, which one do you think should be ranked higher? Is what I'm asking you: Godzilla or zombies? Godzilla. 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 The king of the monsters, dude. I Godzilla is number fucking one. Godzilla, 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 zombies, 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 Godzilla, Dracula. Fuck, we're not talking about Dracula right now. <laughs> no, Dracula's still on the list. He's we haven't determined his place yet. 
It's pretty clear that they want Godzilla. Yeah. Uh, be higher than zombies. Godzilla, uh, dude. Then he better be fucking next. <laughs> um, I think I think that's where, I think that's where he belongs. Mm, yeah, I'd say he belongs number four. Does everyone agree on that? I mean, no, but whatever. It's not I gonna, mean, it's not going to change anything at this. No point. one, dude. You got fucking Bazuzu, dude. Dude, if if if, um, if, it, if I was making this list, zombies wouldn't even be on the fucking yeah, top that's 10, true. You so. don't, you, you I don't, don't even like, understand how you would fucking how are you going to disregard an entire franchise of fucking movie dude, monsters? Zombies, go, Man, you don't belong on the list. Dude, zombies belong. Bull, they don't. fucking they don't shit, faggot. Yes, they do. Fuck they you. You know yes, what? They do. On the list. Belong Audrey on fucking too. You retard. She's not on there. Good. How do zombies not belong, TJ? They don't belong. Why? How, why? Because they've been done poorly way more times than they've been done well. That doesn't... No. Whatever, dude. Oh, zombies my God. That's have, so stupid. Zombies have just had such an impact. The reason they've been done so poorly is oh, because no, everybody does matter. them because they're impact so fucking matter. influential. No, everyone does them because it's no, cheap. Uh, whatever. It doesn't matter, but I'm allowed to be salty about zombies getting fucked over over Godzilla. I'm sorry. I zombies are more of a challenge for filmmaking. So you have to have so many people unless you want to do cheap-ass... How many low-budget zombie movies are there? They suck, though. They're at number five. They're fine. Godzilla's number four. I agree with that. Dracula, the thing, and the xenomorphs. I mean, all right. Now that we're God. down to three here, could we just decide on what's number one out of those? No, no, dude. Because uh, I know you're gonna, you're not going to agree with me, because and I'm not going to agree with Scott. Because, Scotty's going to want to put the thing. I'm going to want to put xenomorphs. Paul's all right. already hedging his bets, you know. But I, I have to say that for number three for me is Dracula. All right. I mean, yeah, it's definitely. I agree. Yeah, I'm willing to put Dracula there. I think we need to have a fucking poll for number one because I think it's going to be contentious. But I'm going to go. Out, I'm going to go ahead and I'm say. I'm saying the thing. Um, the thing. I'm saying xenomorphs. Xenomorphs. I think it needs to go to a vote because edge out the thing for the number one. All right. It's hard. We got to do the, a poll for but this. Yeah, one. The, it has to the be a poll. The people must decide once you again. You guys are going to fucking decide who is number one on this fucking list. Why? Why is xenomorphs over the thing though, Paul? I mean, they're kind of similar in a, in a lot of ways. They are. They've got a lot of similarities. They're both alien threats. I think it's funny that our top two ended up being alien threats. So I guess it yeah. speaks to our sci-fi nerdery, probably. Yeah, for sure. But for me, I don't know. The thing is scary on a small scale, right? In terms of being trapped with it in a base, the 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 aliens are the same, but they're also scary in terms of like. A doomsday scenario. I guess the thing could be too. God, this is, is so hard to pick. That's what I'm saying. Like I mean, the thing about the, the thing th has. They both have a great physical prowess. The thing has. They gone. can blend. They can blend in. They can be sneaky. They have. There's so many different ways these things could come at the you. The thing they're, could be. It can look like a normal person. It could look like an absolute nightmare. You can even change. realize you are the thing. It could change yeah. forms. They both use people as part of their life cycle. Yeah. Uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the xenomorph has different forms. I mean, I'm counting the face hugger. I'm counting the chest burster. I'm counting the queen. Yeah, and it's got a whole the, life the, cycle. The thing has unlimited so forms. The, I mean, the, you know, I mean, these are anything. very, these are very close. This is a hard one. Uh, we got a poll. I don't know what time, how much time did I put on it. Oh shit! I did. A, did I do a 24 hour poll? Yeah, you have to redo that one. Sorry. You want to do 10 minutes? Yeah, five you guys minutes? will have to vote again. If you voted already, I, I'm sorry. I had to cancel that poll. I set too long of a timer. I'm, let me just do the timer first. So How long do you want to do? Five minutes again? I'm going to go ahead and give them uh, the same seven-minute clock I did last okay, time. Okay, seven minutes. So it's down to the thing and xenomorphs that's I what mean, i'm saying that they're evenly matched competitors i mean in every yeah. in, i mean i mean i gotta be honest with you for me it comes down to bias i mean i think at that point yeah. aliens is my favorite film of all time the xenomorph is the scariest shit to me like it's in terms of monsters like it's just the i don't know the the its form it's the, the way it uses people it's got all these different layers to it. I know the thing does too, but it, the bi bias colors yeah, it, everything I mean, another at this thing, point. Uh, something that fucking comes into play for me too is, I mean, I guess there was a shitty remake of the thing, but the thing hasn't been nearly as shit on as the xenomorphs. That's true. I mean, if it were just if we were just looking down the history of like Alien and Aliens, not to mention by Ridley Scott who did the original maybe. Alien. I mean, but maybe that speaks to the fact that it just resonates more with people that it should be the number I one. I mean, the thing wasn't even a big hit when it came out. It became a cult classic later yep um but i mean i don't know it just if you talk about just raw terror like something that can become you something that can become your friend and something that could at any moment spring tentacles or spider legs or take any form it wants to destroy you or to 
consume you, to become you. I mean, that's just crazy fucking I mean, it scary. definitely earned its spot in the, in the theoretical top two. Nobody's fucking disputing that. As far as a monster it's goes, these are the two that it needed to come down to. I, I think we're right. It's just... It's biased for me, but, man. But how much how much of the new alien stuff do you like, you know, like the aliens were engineered? How much of that do you take into account? Are, are you just taking into account, you know, alien and aliens? I mean, <laughs> I mean how it's much the whole shitty movie question, right? Yeah. For me, there's two ways of looking at the shitty movie thing. You could say that it waits against the movie that there's been a bunch of a sure. bunch of shitty sequels. Or you could say that it's just a demonstration of the cultural impact that the people that made these shitty films are to blame for that, not the character itself. And that that shows that more people want the aliens you know what i mean so you could look at it like you could weight that question two different ways and i think that it really just does come down to personal preference at this point i mean it's going to be weird to see what the chat picks i'll be happy with whatever it comes up yeah. with because i think that the I'll list is good as it stands you know um i don't think that we made any cuts that we shouldn't have i think that we arrived at the right 10 monsters and the top one is going to be the most contentious spot i mean and it really is going to come down to bias. You two were obviously way more uh, like influenced by the thing in terms of what well, I would. I mean, Alien is one of my favorite movies, so it's, that's not necessarily true. Like, I really do love the the whole Alien franchise. I mean, we, we, the last one excluded. I love pretty much all the Alien movies uh, to some degree. I have, I have, you know, I do have a bias, a strong bias for them. I, I just feel as a movie monster. Everything that represents the totality of considering just all the factors, you know, you're talking about the impact, the monster itself, the kind of visceral fear you would have confronting that monster and thinking about what if you had to face this monster, how would you feel? And I feel like they're both in a lot of ways equally terrifying, but the thing just has the edge because the, you know, the xenomorphs just kind of wait. They're, they're, they're kind of hunting you. They're, 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 you're more like a prey, whereas the thing just you, it could you know we could be in this room and TJ could be the thing, and we would never know. Until, right, but it's doing the same thing. It's just passively hunting you. So it's it's wanting to spread and and assimilate more and more people and and there's been sympathetic you know and with, I I think the thing too is I think you can almost see the thing is like it, it's also intelligent. You let's could, uh, go it, ahead and you take, can have some sympathy for it even in some respect. Let's go ahead and take a it's look more at complex. Both of our uh, main competitors in action while we're waiting for the results of this poll. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, let's start with the um, xenomorphs. All right. I'm going to go ahead and full screen this and change our scene here. Every scene that involves the aliens from Alien. There's cool. not many. No. Uh, most of it is, you know, it's hiding in the shadows. It's suspense. It's just, it's waiting for oh, oh, oh. Let's go ahead a little bit ahead because we don't have a whole lot of time. Whoa. Let's see the full grown xenomorph. I mean, you gotta back it up and watch the we chest gotta, burst. We do have to watch the chest burst here. Yeah. I mean, that's a moment that just... I don't know if it's in here. Oh, oh it's here. It's oh, right it there, yeah. Yep. Well, that's when they're trying to cut it off. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, they didn't show the actual uh, chest maybe, maybe it's hard to put that up. I Probably so. I guess they can't do that. So here's the big fucking xenomorph reveal here. God, that's Love the cool. double jaws. A terrifying one. Great, great design. Cat just watching aloofly. <laughs> You know, honestly, so there's a little taste. Oh, there he it, is. It's it, it, it is hard. But you know what? I I honestly think you kind of have to pick the Xenomorph in a way. Like I do like the thing, but I almost think the well, Xenomorph does let's, edge it. Let's give a fucking uh, let's give a little look here to this chest defibrillator scene. The oh yeah, his, the, we're about to get to the good part. It's awesome. It's an awesome. Fun. Bites his hands right off as he's doing the autopsy. I just trying to revive that guy. That's it. Yeah, sorry. God, this is great. Just great practical effects. His fucking head has become a little spider thing. John Carpenter said it was because the thing had been on such long travels that it had assimilated tons of different alien species. And that's cool. Had all sorts of alien DNA it could draw from as well as human DNA. I mean, his head fucking escapes the table, grows fucking spider legs, and wanders away. He just literally can recall any fucking form of the It's a great monster. Definitely belongs in our top two. Some of the best practical effects ever. 
in the history of practical effects. I mean, you can pretty much say that of Alien, too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Both of them practical effects powerhouses. Very similar in terms of, you know, Tough content. Call. Tough call. Let's see. Uh, Check out the Twitter poll. It should be uh, getting our results in soon, our if not. poll our... is ending. It looks like the Xenomorphs are the winners. Wow. Same vote. Uh, it looks like it's... Oh, no, I, actually, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. It's 40. It wasn't even that, that close. It was uh, 58 to 42. 58 to 42. Yep. Xenomorphs. Xenomorphs, so we can keep these right in the same order. And there's our list, gentlemen. It feels, it, that feels like a fair... Uh, so, list. after sitting here and watching us for I don't even know how many hours, maybe two. So, let's go down. Number 10. Yeah, uh, hold on. I just want to say uh, it took us about two hours to come to this conclusion. And you guys participated. We all participated. I don't think anyone got the list they would have individually created, but I think we got a pretty good representation of what the three of us and all you in the chat could help us come up with here. I'm going to go ahead and put the list right on the fucking screen. Number 10, Pazuzu from The Exorcist. Yep. Terrifying fucking demon possessing a little girl, turning her should, into a should monster. Should be number 11. Nah. Let, no, no, no bitterness over what the Bullshit, list is. Bullshit, dude. Plenty of bitterness. All right. Well, you're fired. Um, <laughs> number nine, the iconic King Kong. Yeah. Needs no introduction, yeah. right? Too classic of a monster not to make this list. Number eight, Jason Voorhees, the ultimate king fucking of the, king unstoppable of, yep. slasher. King of the fucking yeah. slashers, dude. I'm glad that, yeah, because the slasher really does need to be represented on this list. And I'm glad Jason made the cut. Number seven, Frankenstein. Too many classic depictions. One of the old, I mean, like one of the original OG monsters. But ends yep. up, ends up, you know, kind of the the bottom of the barrel for the OG monsters, but still a good spot. Yeah, and I mean, it's part of human consciousness now. I mean, nobody doesn't know Frankenstein, right? Uh, number six, werewolves in all their various incarnations. Paul, list off some great werewolf movies. Um, we talked about Silver Bullet. We talked about Wolf. We talked about um, American Werewolf in Paris. We talked about Ginger Snaps. I mean, like there's there's just London, uh, dude. Uh, Paris was the shitty one. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, sorry. American Werewolf, Werewolf in, London. in London. Yeah. My, my bad. Um, uh, the uh, first Howling I thought was pretty the good. The Howling, yeah. Uh, obviously, the classic Wolfman is pretty awesome. Yep. Uh, zombies. Uh, you know, lots of great zombie movies. Uh, my favorite, partic my particular favorite zombie movie, uh, Return of the Living Dead, probably my very it's great. favorite. It's Love uh, a, a lot the of the 28 George Days Later, 28 Weeks Later. Um, a lot of George A. Romero. George A. Romero's works yeah. in general. Not a Living Dead and Return in that order for me. And then, you know, Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. Day of the Day Dead. Day of the Dead after that. Yeah. I mean, there's just so many good ones. The remake of Dawn of the Dead was really good, I thought. Yeah. Uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Can't fucking write that motherfucker off. I think he's a little high on this list, but whatever. I think he's probably where he belongs. Uh, number three, Dracula. Just like a there's, there, there's so many representations. There was really never yeah. even a moment where we argued that Dracula shouldn't be on this list. Uh, if, I think that if, says a lot. If we had ended up with a top ten list and Dracula wasn't on it, we should just quit this yeah, job. Yeah, this that, we're we're, be, we're too bad to there do was this. Never, monsters. No, you cannot. Dracula has to be on that list. I mean, classic classic vampire depictions in films. I mean, you know, you got Bram Stoker's Dracula. That's the one that always comes to my mind. Uh, Nosferatu. Nosferatu. Been, classic Bela been Lugosi done, version. Yeah, been done so well. Chris I mean, Plummer did a pretty good one. To represent the vampire. Empires, Dracula is a fitting addition. And I mean, we list. could just go on and on because there's been a million different. There's been some terrible films. ones, but you know, there's been some awesome ones too. Um, the thing, I think, just we already talked so much about why the thing and Xenomorphs belong where they are. Uh, so the thing is number two and number one movie monster, the Xenomorphs from Alien and Aliens. And too goddamn scary. Too goddamn scary. You know, uh, they deserve their spot. The, the fevered mind of H.R. Giger wins yet again. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know. And if you have your own list, uh, feel free to show us what your top 10 monster list would have looked like in the chat. You don't have to just settle for this list that was decided by committee. Yeah, tweet at us, whatever you, can you want. let us know yep. what you think is the ultimate list of monsters. And hey, if we forgot some integral monster and you're pissed, like, I can't believe they fucking forgot about what's his fit. Put them on down there. Just remember the criteria. No, no actual humans. They can be human-like. But they can't actually be a human being. That's that'd be the only thing I'd say. Yep. Yep. We didn't forget Pennywise. We cut Pennywise. Pennywise got cut. Yep. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed watching us come up with this list, this kind of experimental episode, we're not really sure how this was gonna go. I had fun. I had a lot of fun. I think I think the guys had fun. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on Monday. Peace, everybody. Drugs. Peace the fuck out.